and welcome to the Ascended Cast. I am John. <coughs> your boy Shadow. I'm Leo. We got our boy Leo on here today. This is gonna be a fun one. The conversations are already flowing. It is flowing like no tomorrow here. So yeah, I'm excited. We've been uh, even you asked me about it, and I've been trying to get you on for a while. So we finally got something, and I know it's gonna be good. Especially this long weekend, I was just like perfect. I'm so happy. And I'm excited. So uh, let's get right into it. Let's talk about <clears throat> obviously Leo. We've known each other well, like almost eight years now. Feels like a century, like ten years. Yeah, yeah. Like close to it because uh, I met you when you were doing the GNC promotions, mm -hmm. and I started all of this in 2015. So yeah, we've known each other. Yeah, it's years. been quite a minute. Actually, what's funny? One of my core memories is uh, I'm brought with the San Diego for a weekend. And I took an edible, the fucking black bar. <laughs> like, that was a long ago. I took it on a Sunday night. <laughs> on a Sunday on night. A Sunday night. Yeah. <clears throat> and we drove back, and I was still fucking high the next day. And I was like, fuck, like, I'm not gonna fucking work out tonight. I was like, damn, I should be able to buy some pre workout. And he, like, he brought it, like, himself. So I was like, alright, I'm gonna go take a nap, and I'm like, I'll see how I feel when I wake up. I go there, I fucking buy the paperwork, and I'm like, thanks for like, appreciate it. I'm like, oh, you know what? I feel pretty good. Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna work out. My dumbass fucking hit legs. Bro, I just remember squatting and being like, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, oh, fuck. I did like three or four reps, and I was like, I can't fucking do this right now. I was like, I don't know what the fuck just happened, but fuck. So I'm just like trying to sit there and be like, all right, maybe it's gonna pass through, like maybe I'll be cool. And that shit did not. So uh, I ended up going to In N Out and like eating at In N Out. And I'm just like, all right, hopefully now like I'm cool, like can I drive? And then I'm just like, yeah, I think I can drive. So I drive and I get home and I fucking knocked out. But I just remember like the only reason why I went that was because fucking Leo got me pre workout and I was just like, I'm not gonna fucking do him dirty. Look at that. See? Yeah. yeah. You were his driving force. Like, yeah. yeah, that shit was funny. I just remember I squatted, and then you know when you get really paranoid about something? So you're like trying, like, I, like, I probably just wanted the slowest squat ups I ever did. Cause I was just like going so slow, like, PR you, you were just like in your head. Yeah, like, I was in my head, and then I was like, bro, I can't fucking do this right now. Like, I feel like I'm gonna like tip over. And so I was like, alright. And then, yeah, just. That was fun. That was fun. So, so the driving force for uh, your health gains, or I don't know what that was. Bro. Like I said, like literally, bro. Like I was. We were. Uh, this is when uh, Reed was in San Diego State, and I just remember they're like, "You want to try a black bar?" And I was like, "Yeah." And I took it. This is where I got fucking stupid. I took it, and I was like, "Oh, it's cool. This ain't that bad." And I took a second piece. That's and that was the like second. Yeah. Yeah. And that was the second piece got me. And that's how when I woke up, I was like, I felt fine, bro. Like I was cool, and then um, like we were driving, and I just remember fucking driving, and I'm just like, bro, fuck, like this shit, like I'm still fucking high. So we went to fucking Denny's in Paris, of all fucking places. We had a Denny's in Paris. I eat. Sounds like a lovely spot. Yeah, and then like I'm like, all right, cool, I feel good again. Start driving again, and I'm just like, bro, what the fuck? Like we have a mobile, and I'm like, bro, why is this shit like not going away? And so. Uh, Finally, I'm just like, fuck, I'm just gonna go home and knock out, like, just, just yeah. try to sleep it off. Yeah. And I remember uh, I got dropped off, and like my parents were like, oh, like, how was your weekend? I'm just like, I'm good, I'm going to bed. <laughs> and they were like, <laughs> going straight to bed. Yeah. And I'm just like, all right, cool. And then I woke up at like, I think like 5 or 5 30, because I think you were going to be there at like 6. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then I'm just like, all right, like, I feel better now. Like, let me take a shower. Let me fucking just like, change, like do all that shit. And yeah, just a, a fucking wild 24 hours just being high for no reason. <laughs> just being high for no reason. I mean, even the name. <laughs> Black Bar doesn't sound like it was going to be a mild trip or anything like that. <laughs> bro, like, I don't know what it was, but like, that shit just kept me like going. Because like, bro, like, I just remember at night, like, I felt cool, like, I felt it. But like, it was just like, you know what I'm saying, lingers far too long? Mm -hmm. Like, that was another part of it. It's like, when is it going to end? When is it going to end? Like, uh, uh, yeah, that, that, that's that edible high. Yeah. yeah that, that's why that's why I I haven't even touched some of them Johns in so long, yeah. besides the ones that me me and our boy Matt have, you know, made in the lab. Those ones are Have they you cut yourself? No, you're doing your product testing. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let everybody know. 
when it's product testing, he's all this for uh, research. <laughs> <laughs> research and development. Yeah. <laughs> Heavy on the development. Yeah, that's crazy. I remember the, uh, now that we're on the topic of that, I remember like my buddy, we're at his uh, apartment. And then like, that's what I'm going back to the names. He's like, yeah, let's all relax. Relax, we're gonna have some Ancestral liquid. <laughs> true. I was like, anything that sounds uh, like with that name, I was like, dude, it was just like, it wouldn't go away. It would not go away. I think it lasted like two days. Oh shit. Yeah, and then I was just like, I like, I'm so stuck. Like I was like, what the hell's going on? Like I was, and I drove. Yeah. I forgot how to drive stick shift. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, and I was just like, shit, like this is bad. I was like, and then uh, the next day I woke up like, what the heck was that? And he's like, you know, some sister liquid. Like I've had that in the cabinet for like about two years. I was like, what? <laughs> so, like, do the thing got more more potent over the years? Yeah, at least? Just like, oh, I got let it, let it really seal the flavor. Yeah, in I, was like, <laughs> I was like, bro, that shit was was not cool. He's, he's like, well, I mean, it makes you feel better. Sam went to the ER last night. <laughs> I was just like, what? <laughs> I was just like, what? But this, what was it that I was like, I don't even know. I was just like, oh my god. I think it makes you feel any better. Yeah, it makes you feel any better. Sam's in the ER right now. And I was like, dude, I felt like I wanted to go to the ER. I don't know, like, I can take that motor to it. It's like, okay, I didn't get the most fucked up. But also, like, I could have went to the ER. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, sheesh. But yeah, that was, that was like, no it. Yeah, me and, uh, and Wolves have a very uh, love hate relationship. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm a, I'm probably gonna do it again. See, I'm, I'm a very situational man. Yeah, so I feel like I feel like what you got to do is you got to clear out your schedule for like two days. I'm gonna I'm gonna <laughs> <That's my heart. laughs> I'm I'm gonna, yeah. Nah, I'm I'm gonna say every anything that says ancestral, I'm not going to oh. Wakanda. I'm not <laughs> yeah. going to Asia. I'm not going to any of my ancestors. My girl, I'm not Mexican, so I'm not going to goddamn. Oh, 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 <laughs> damn it. None of that. Um, but yeah, that's what you gotta do. You just gotta clear out your few days. Just get you a nice little some gummies. I, I'm probably, some gummies. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm probably gonna do the bar. You, you know, man, they got they got infused everything. Yeah, they do that. No, the gummies are big right now. Mm-hmm. I've been hearing the gummies are like a big way because it's a lot easier for, uh, what's it called? Somebody to preserve it, like longer mm-hmm. the gummies. Yeah, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pop 30 and see what I'm gonna do there. <laughs> you say pop 30. Define <laughs> what that means, Shiloh. That means 30 gummies are going to be ingested by your boy. <laughs> As I'm looking at this beautiful sunset. This will get that like, fucking Thanos look at my game back. Yeah! <laughs> you get the beat when he was done. When the job is done, yeah. I'm rest. <laughs> and look at the sunrise. <laughs> get the bird trip. Zero hours of sleep. And have my gummies. <laughs> You guys literally call me. I'm all like, bro, I'm watching the sunset. You're like, bro, you've been doing that shit since yesterday. Yeah, I'm like, bro, I left you there three days ago. <laughs> oh, God dude. Damn, my ancestral gummies. That would be wild. I love that. Um, <laughs> that's amazing. But yeah, going back to what we were talking about, I've known you yeah. since 2015. Mm-hmm. Uh, we've had a lot of freaking memories. We've worked together, partied together, got some shit together. Oh, yeah. So that's oh, crazy, powerful. and then we were talking about before, but <laughs> how you met Shadow is a pretty funny situation. <laughs> yeah, I mean, obviously we worked at LA Fitness before, so uh, and it was like it was like a grind. I was like, dude, am I really out here getting names and numbers? And like, <laughs> Walmart parking lot. Yeah, at the Walmart parking lot. I was like, dude, I, just to get the job, I was like, I'm gonna give this bundle player pass. I just like to go back to to the gym, uh, but yeah, I remember Charlie, he's like, yeah, entertaining the, like, yeah, you know what, I've been thinking about getting a membership there, is that the one right there by the In-N-Out? I was like, that's the one, he's like, yeah, you know, nice facility there, this guy would go all the time, and I was just like, and then uh, the next day, he's like, is this your guy? Yeah, this is the guy. Yeah, he ain't signing you up. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, yeah, he's like, this guy? Yeah, yeah, no, he ain't signing you up. It was funny, though, it's because I saw the name of the system. <laughs> And I was like Shiloh. <laughs> I was like a Shiloh's lead. <laughs> That's the thing. Did, did you could put this guy in? He's like, yeah. I was like, where'd you meet him? <laughs> he was like at the Walmart parking lot. I was like, yeah, he's not gonna start up. <laughs> yeah. I guarantee you that guy. Yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> and, it was, and it was funny because I actually used that guest pass the next day. No, that was the funny part. Is he came in and I'm like, Shia, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> He's like, I, I think you even activated it. They're like, I'm just gonna activate it. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm gonna give him his cool in two weeks. I was like, do whatever you want, man. Yeah. Oh yeah, that was the best two weeks because I used the hell out of that. And I and, and I knew when my second that second week was up, I was just like Go into the dark. I think no, I think you contemplated again because sure, you did like it. You fucked it there. You were like, how much is it? And I was like, so you're like, oh, all right. But like, you were like thinking about it because you did fuck with it. Hell yeah. I like, yeah. yeah that was, you know what? Like a lot of people like. I, I, I would always see they would do a, they would just do a two week pass here, then do a week pass over there, and then just milk free yeah. membership for like, oh, people still do that. Yeah, they'll do it for like three months and like not paying anything. I was just like, yeah, okay. Oh, really? Yeah, they would just like, they would literally tell me too, like, yeah, we just, uh, we did EOS, we got a week. You guys offer two weeks here? That's crazy. <laughs> like, what was crazy though um, is like there was people that would like do LA Fitnesses like that because like if you just didn't put the driver's license or like if they just didn't have it like they would activate it. So yeah. like there were some people I remember where like they would go to like different locations so, like they would drive to like LA to get a guest pass mm -hmm. and then come back out and these guest pass. Are, oh yeah, I got a pass. We're like, bro, you were just here like uh, three weeks ago without a uh, pass from us. Yeah. He's like, yeah, but they gave me one uh, over here. And I'm like. The fuck? Yeah. <laughs> Finesse the yeah. system. Nah, some people were smart that they did. Mm-hmm. Really people were doing it for just like fucking uh He's like, I've been doing this for years. I was like, what? Uh, I was like, I'm glad he said that. I was just like, yeah, I can't give you a pass, buddy. <laughs> I was like, I, I can't give you a pass. <laughs> Remember when you admit something like that? See, like I I am intrigued, not only, not only for myself, but just for future others as well. How how I if you know. flaunt it and you're trying to be like, oh yeah, it's a confident, like, bro, then, like, keep your scam bill fucking low yeah. key. I'm gonna go to Planet Fitness then. Mm -hmm. Let me see what they're about. I was in a, uh, I was in Long Beach yesterday, and uh, we walked by like, Planet Fitness, and it was probably one of the nicest Planet Fitness I've ever seen. You said in Long Beach? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was like, that's one of the nicest freaking Planet Fitness I've ever seen. You know what? Uh, I, I want to ask. But both of you, something. This is a random question. Um, do you have like the nicest gym you've ever been to? Like, where, like, has there been one in particular where you just kind of walked in? You're like, this is fire. I've had that one a lot, but like, from like what level? Just like a, like an environment, or just like how like it's maintained? Brother, we could do any and all. I didn't think that far. Cause like I've been to like some of like businesses, bro, like at the the signature clubs. Yeah. And I'm like, damn, this shit is fucking nice. Like it's kept in, like our equal months. You go to equal months, but you're gonna be like, god damn, like yeah. everything is clean, like everything feels new. But those memberships like two hundred bucks. Yeah. Like, on. So like those are cool, but then, like when it comes to the culture and environment, mm -hmm. like that's a tough one. That's a really tough one. In that yeah. yeah. I think for me, I have two picks, like and this. yeah, I think the the first one was like an ah, it was like a fitness mania. Fitness mania is nice in, in Riverside. Really? Yeah, and I remember like I was I would never go out of my way to go to that gym, but because of COVID, and that was the only gym open, and I was just like, he had like a first location at first, and it was like kind of it was like it was a decent it was like kind of like LA Fitness yeah. style of it, but it was like smaller. Then he like oh we're opening up a second location. Like we're gonna get rid of this one. And I was like, oh really? He's like, when? Next week. So you, you came just in time. You're gonna get the lower price, and you'll be about at at, at Fitness Mania. I was like, all right, cool. You go in there, twenty four seven, even during COVID, no mask. I was like, the sauna was nice. And you're able to use yeah. everything, and everything was like brand new. I was like, they have machines. I was like, dude, I didn't even know they had this shit. Yeah. Like you know, you see something like in uh those influencers on like you know on YouTube and then some of the machines they use, like, damn, I'm gonna use that yeah. machine. Where, where do I go find the machine? They literally had every machine. Yeah, hell yeah. I was just like, that was the dopest. I was what like, a dope gym. Yeah, and they had everything. I was just like, shit. And yeah, everyone was, and everyone was dedicated too. They're all working out and just kind of motivated too. You're yeah. just like, damn, yeah, like. There's um, some dogs in there. Yeah, I'm just like. Ass. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, the talent was good too. Yeah. The talent was very good. <laughs> And then it's just like you're there, and you're like, something like, I don't want to work out. And you walk in there, I was like, Oh, no, I gotta work out. Like, sounds good here. And then you see people are just fit. I'm just like, mm. Yeah. And I think my second pick, I think, might be a little biased, but I think the new goal is the one I do. I've heard, I've heard that. Mm -hmm. That one's really, really nice. Mm -hmm. It's nice. 
So I got That's what's illegal, man. That's how I'm talking about too. I like that phrase. I'm gonna start using that. The talent is very mm-hmm. good. Yeah, Leo knows all about talent. <laughs> <laughs> Leo knows all about talent. Leo would be a recruiting talent, talent fitness. <laughs> no way, no way. <laughs> Not members. Yeah, yeah. yeah. talent <laughs> members. Yeah, yeah. 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 Not members. Leo, with that, I remember, remember uh, our, I'm gonna say our GM told us that. Remember? Come on, we gotta get more. Women in here, talent door. Yeah, bro. I remember. Yeah, he like he would say that, and then I was like, bro, it, it ain't happening. <laughs> I was yeah. like, no. You see these old people? They're like two seconds away from dying. Like, <laughs> yeah. I was like, he's like, yeah. Back, back in my day, we go to uh, like we get all the the hot bays. I was like, buddy, it ain't happening here in Highland. Yeah. Like, I was like, this is like a retirement home, like yeah. down the street from here. It was just like, yeah. Dude, now they so huh? Now they have it. Do they? Yeah, I feel like I go there. So like I haven't been there in probably like a good month, but like I was going there for a cool like month and a half, bro. And like I was like, damn, like where are all these young people coming from? Like it was like I don't like I don't know. This wasn't when I was here. Yeah, I mean I, I haven't been there in like a few months. But yeah, I I just saw the change. And I was like, damn, like it was not like this when I worked here. I was like maybe during like New Year's. Like January, February was like this, mm. but I was like, it wasn't like this in like April or like May or June. Like I was like, it was really popping. I feel like the more, the, the more that Highland and then also Redlands has expanded because mm-hmm. of the housing, yeah. because yeah. all the all the housing, the schools or whatnot. A lot of the older generation is, quite frankly, dying off and are yeah. moving because some of my neighbors are all ex-military or whatever. They're like, yeah, we're getting out of here. We're going to Palm Springs. Like we're going Arizona. to the beach area. The yeah. beach area. Whenever they say Palm Springs, I'm like, <laughs> you know, they ain't free. I know. I know. Can't be free. We're kind of Is that what Palm Springs is for? <laughs> yeah. It, really? It, it, it's a little free for the old people in the. In the Palm Springs is like a <laughs> interesting, very, very interesting place because, like, for a long time, it was like notorious for like, the gay community. Like, they would just all go there, like, just like the older ones, and like, just do their thing. Mm-hmm. More so, like now, it's like a swingers, like uh, it is still like gay, but like people go there, like to like, because it's all the resorts, like, all the like stuff like that, the downtown team pop. So, like, people just go down there to get freaking weird, like, origins happen down there, uh, because okay. swinger parties happen there. So, not that, it, not that they don't have an air, but you know, you get yeah. out there. It's just more like normal out there to where, like, that's the scene ends. Where at? I'm just gonna avoid that spot. Yeah, well, <laughs> you don't know, avoid yeah. it. You don't avoid it. Uh, yeah, I've been to recently. I've been going to Palm Springs. I, I, I've only been there like three times. Mm-hmm. I think the first time I went was uh, for Splash House. Okay, see, like that's the thing too. Like Splash House, uh, like it's getting younger because like, they even have a lot of like little like Joshua Tree. Mm-hmm. It's having like a lot, a lot more like little like fest like mini festivals like, and yeah. shows. So that thing is like it's not like like I said for a long time it was like it was a gay like city to where now like kind of everyone's kind of like yeah I thought like, like I remember um, like in the past like, I had like an ex girlfriend she'd be like oh we're gonna go to Splash House I, I, I don't think you want to go there I was like why not like oh, that's not your thing it's like it's like a me and the gays kind of thing yeah. and then I was just like oh I mean if you I mean, let me see one. I I'll, like, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you. Yeah, I was, just like, I was just like, I wasn't going. I'm like, oh, it's kind of tradition for us. Like, like, I don't think you want to go. Sure, and I was just like, all right, well, I'll take her up for it, I guess. And then that one time I went, I was just like, no wonder she was talking about <laughs> I was like, the debauchery that goes on right there, I'm just like, Wow, yeah, I was like, Jesus. And they put a fan of heart. Yeah, like, <laughs> literally, like, I remember the, when I was there, and I was just like, just like everyone's just and I feel you. I went I went to downtown Palm Springs on a Sunday. Supposedly it was a pride week. I don't know if it was or not. And the same thing, like the shit that I saw that was going on there. And I was like probably like eighteen at the time. Ooh. And I was just like into the world. Yeah, I just saw that. I was just like, what is going on? I'm like, dog. Uh you got you remember Matt Cushion, right? Yes I do. I remember Matt Cushion almost got on a fight because there was a guy fucking, uh, blocking another guy and they said something to him and he said, what did you just say? And they just like, they just like were fucking with him and he was like legit about to fight them because of it. And I was like, dog, this is not like, we gotta get out of here. 
Yeah. Let's say for us. Like they were like trying to recruit him until they were so he, he was a happen. Whoa. <laughs> and kid you not, like there was a guy walking over a guy. And like you just see hear some you just hear some stuff and like it was just not Yeah, when, when I went to Splash, me and Splash was more like general public and stuff like that. Yeah. Like, that's what I thought too, and I was just like, I don't mind going like it is what it is, you know? And I went and it wasn't even like that. It wasn't like predominantly like like It's cause they, they they have a good line of it's mainstream now. Yeah, it's so when I went it was like it was like cool. I was just like, oh, okay, there's like right amount of babes, right amount of dudes. It was like actually I think there was more chicks than there were oh, there was there were dudes. Chicks. And I was just like that's a beautiful balance. Yeah, I know. I was just like, I was just like, that's what every club promoter festival person wants. More the ratio. If there's more girls than guys, and you're making money. Yeah, because <laughs> I think cause they feel more comfortable like with their, uh, you know, with their gay besties, and they're like, oh, like I can let loose here for sure. Like this is the weekend I can let loose. I remember some dude like he was at the uh, in the hotel, and we were like right there in the dance floor, and then like some dude like from the very top, because it's like the pool's like. It's like the pool and then the hotels. Yeah. So then some dude's like, hey, you, pulling that some chick. Me? Like, the girl's like, yeah, you. Like, oh, you. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. And he was, she was like, the dude literally went from the top floor, grabbed her and took her, and he went to town. I was like, this guy's a fucking savage. I was just like, uh, I was just like, are you serious? And then he's like, yep, that happened to you all the time. I was like, that's crazy. So when does that happen again? I've already requested it. Yeah. They're <laughs> like, Charlotte, you won't be at this job next year. <laughs> <laughs> Still requesting it all. <laughs> yeah, so. That, that's a beautiful story. That's I, cool. it, that, I think you inspired me, sir. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what it is, Flash Out, but now I'm just like, I don't know, it's fun. And, you know, I even went this last year which was I think maybe a couple weeks ago and it rained it was still like a oh yeah, yeah. you were there for that it rained they made it inside the hurricane, the hurricane. Uh, yeah I was like so when's the hurricane coming I was mad about that it's just a whole bunch of people getting wet that's like, nah that's cool though that's, that's real cool I'm yeah like, it, it was dope I mean I always recommend Splash House when every other festival just do. but that one has, has been spot on like like it you know, it's, it's it's so fun yeah let's actually talk about that too like because for as long as I've known you, you've been raving forever. Mm-hmm. Since out the womb, I think. You've been, you've went to a bunch of different spots, brother. Oh, yeah. Have you, uh, you got any, like, top spots? Like, any, like, favorite festivals? Um, yeah. So, I mean, Splash House is one of the top ones right there. But oh, I think, okay. yeah, I think I have a handful of them. Obviously, we live, we live in SoCal here. And the Knox Center has, like, a rave every month, you know? Yeah, well, but, it's starting to change, though. It is. I, I feel like they go more towards, like, L.A. area. L.A. is popping right now. It is. L.A. is popping. Which, for me, it's like a drag. I'm like, I'm driving all over L.A. Just, it was nice when he was, he was in the Knox Center. Um, I think it's like a pro, I think it's like a good thing and bad thing, though, because, like, we've talked about it, like, our friend group, like, I feel like the Knox Center is, like, played out in a sense because, like, now you go and so many, I, we were talking about this, too, with uh, someone yesterday, but, like, the Knox Center, like, it's so crowded and so packed. And because it's so mainstream now, like you have people that are just there just to be there, and not necessarily for the music. Yeah, yeah, I would say, I would say so. But I feel like the Knox Center is always like home. It's home, but like, for it's, example, for, uh, like, 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 this is my thing. It's it's home to like a lot of I years, mm-hmm. and then like you know a, a, a lot of us because of the convenience one. Uh, but but two, it's one of those, and then I have uh, even spoken on this as well. It's like. Because when things get mainstream, so some people may, may, may like maybe some of the music, but they don't understand the rave culture itself. So like yeah. the whole plur thing, just being respectable, understanding that, um, which a lot of these 18 year olds and everything don't understand is like, when you go in, you're, it's big crowds. So when you're popping them M&Ms or when you're just feeling right, yeah. and you're gonna be in the middle of the crowd and you can't get mad and you can't just be rocking through shoving people and like just yelling at people because you're in a crowd feeling some type of way right right it's like it's like you're supposed to educate it and know that about it but since when a lot of people like it versus years ago mm-hmm. when it's like honestly you gotta like this to rave or like or like or like you gotta understand a little bit before going in yeah exactly like everyone when i first started um i think i always liked EDM. i just didn't know what EDM was at the time and then i remember hearing like i mean calvin harris on the radio and stuff like that. And then I was just like, oh, um, 
Count versus the DJ. I was like, wait, he's not the one singing? <laughs> I was just like, he is singing, though. Know? He actually is. In some of them, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. 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 But I was just like, wait, I thought that was his voice and all that stuff. Like, he's like, oh, no, no, he produces the song and yeah. all that. And then I was like, wait a minute, what? Like, I'm, I'm confused here. And then I think that's when, I think DJ started making a big, like, you know, it'd be, let's say, like, Rihanna or something like that. That was like, the, yeah. yeah. And then it'd be like, like, that song, like, was, was a hit. I was like, oh, but it was actually, like, you know, Tom Harris or David Guetta, stuff like that. And, like, things little by little, they start popping off. But I remember going to my first show, and then uh, I was like, man, I like this music, but I just never would go. I never had, like, I was like, gosh, it, like, it's, like, it's weird when you, like, I went, like, dressed like this. In like normal attire, yeah, you know. And then I remember going there, bought my first ticket. And I, I went to the door. It was like it was countdown. And oh, I remember, shit. yeah, I remember like you know, buddies walking in like with rainbow like fuzzy outfits, and then I was just like, uh, you know, just wearing a thong. You yeah, know? <laughs> I was just like, dude, dude, basically wearing just a sock. Yeah, yeah. and I was just like, I was like. I was like, damn, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> where, where, where am I? Yeah, like literally, like it was like a, it was like a little truck. It was like a, like a, a whole train of them, just like on a thong. And I was like, what? trust me, till this day, I still have to deal with that. I was at EDC this year. Oh, <laughs> it was Cascade Redux. <laughs> and, uh, I just saw a whole train of guys leaving in thongs all. <laughs> So nothing's changed. <laughs> They're doing the elephant walk. We're going to this trunk. <laughs> Straight up. Excuse me. They might as well have been. Yeah. God, I have never heard that in my life. Uh, An uh, elephant walk. That's uh, crazy. I probably uh, witnessed that. I, we, we witnessed a lot of No, we for sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, yeah. I don't. You see, like that's that's a cool thing about about rage. You see, like everything, and you're just like you know, and you're like sipping alcohol. You're like kind of drunk. And you're like, did I just see that? Like, fuck. Like, I remember it was a uh, hard summer when it was uh, in Fontana. Oh, the speedway. Yeah, the yeah, speedway. And then I was like having a blast, reviving, and I'm like, oh, so you're like you're sipping, you know? And then uh, I turn around and I see like a whole some late with a whole massage table. Like there was just like. Like she's just going to town on people right there. She's like the dude's like, like go like that, upside down, oil them up and everything. It's just like it was going to town. I was like, I was like, fuck. I was like, all right, I'm just drinking. And I was like, what the fuck's going on back there? And I was like, are they just giving massages? And I was like, me thinking like, what I got to do? I was like, I was just like, my back's killing me. I was like, what do I do? But they were just like, everyone was just like going with it too. I was just like, ah, uh, damn, that's okay. I was like, how do they get that table here? I've heard about yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. shit that gets in there. I was like, how did they bring that in here? Uh, like, like, what do you tell them? Oh, you know, I'm just masseuse. Yeah, I'm just masseuse. You know, just like yeah. c- c- coming through. Yeah. What are you, what are you doing? Just, just blur. You know. Yeah. I've been lives. Yeah. <laughs> I've been giving massages for like, ten years since. Then, you know, I'm like, wow. All right. See, that's that's smart though. Um, I actually saw this at Hard Summer, which was really cool when, when we went. But um, there's uh, there's like a little section that uh, you of course you come in, you make an appointment, but it, it was for I mean the guys and girls. I saw a lot of girls be there, but um, it's for makeup. So like it's just like that, 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 that a literal whole spot the way you come in. You know, I saw girls that messed up makeup or they just didn't want to do it. Thank God. And they're just like, all right, cool. Like we're like you know there's six to eight stylists there doing people's makeup like at like at, at hard summer and i was like good like i was like if these festivals start doing that to your point to your point that you saw because i've seen it before but if they had like massage areas so, so if, if you get entrepreneurs like yourself that people are like mm-hmm. makeup artists if you're a masseuse and everything else like that if you can collab with like pasquale and some of these places be like hey look you know it's my resume i can i can wax these people up for you whatever you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. like I, I i got you I feel like that would be really good for the community itself and then also bridge um, entrepreneurs onto as well because they're to do it for the vendors. I mean, yeah, they, they definitely bring a lot of like vendors and, you know, entrepreneurs, like you were saying. Some things that you see are like, hmm, I didn't expect to see this as a festival, but this is nice. Mm-hmm. I remember there was one year, and I'm not sure if it was Countdown or what, but, and then uh, for VIP access, they were giving haircuts. For the dudes, it's possible. Yeah, I was just like, damn. 
I was like, I didn't miss my haircut, boy. I'm not so good. I was just like, uh, I don't wanna, I don't wanna cheat on my barber. I'll just, yeah. just see him next week, but I was just like, I was like, I kind of want to fade. Like yeah. I was like, I'm gonna look a little rough. I just, I was like thinking in my head, like that'll just be wild, you know? You yeah. see me like with the whole shaggy hair, and next thing you see, you see me all cut up, all faded, and everything. Rico Suave. Yeah. I'm like, I'm like, I, I know I took some shit, but bro, did yeah. you get a haircut? Yeah. <laughs> I was just like, are you serious? Yeah. I'm like, what's in the dream? <laughs> yeah. No, I. It just has to be for a non non head banging set. I, I I gotta be on my like porter or something for a haircut. Because if I'm on like some Zed's dead or some some Tronics, I'm <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> I'm like, you know what, bro? I'm cool off this haircut. <laughs> yeah. This feels like, bro, I'm not even done. I said I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> it's also trying to play. Oh, there's a pit. Fucking just you just get up and start running. People have half a haircut. They're just like, all right. <laughs> Yeah, he'll, he'll be back. <laughs> yeah, but that's like, that's twenty five dollars. I want to sit here and wait. <laughs> I the <laughs> and I think they weren't even charging for them. Oh, they were. They were. They were just like part of the VIP awesome. experience. I was like, I like that. I like that. I like. I'm that. I don't know how I feel about that. Free you haircuts are never good haircuts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. Good point. That's how I was like. I don't know. I'm gonna be like, how long have you been a barber, bro? Oh, it's my first day. Yeah, he goes, it was like uh, three months. I've been practicing on my Theo. Wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> three months. Yeah, I was like, uh, never yeah, mind. I, I like that beatbox also for Hard Summer. Um, they had this little, like, this little bicycle thing or whatever, but like, like you, you buy your beatbox and then they'll get ice or whatever, so it's pretty much like a blender. But of course, but of course you go, they have this little bicycle, they put the blender right there, so it's powered by you. So the faster you pedal, the more you're blending your drink. Mm. That mug was sensational. It was refreshing. Beatboxes on the shit. Yeah. And also $22, so I got witnessed that part. Remember when he, when he told us how, how much ours were worth? Uh, because this one had a select amount of money for the day. Uh, $20, $20 most day. <laughs> <laughs> so this makes turned on today. Uh, no, because uh, they said I was like twenty dollars. I was like, all right, like there you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, he told me because I think you had like eighty bucks. So he uh, used, he was like, bro, I got eighty or whatever. And then our boy Eric was like, and that's gonna be like twenty two. And then he was like, well, now I have fifty eight. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah, dude, if you get creative at, at rage, like I got X amount of dollars. Hmm, what's gonna get me drunker the quicker and. And, no. and, and I don't need to eat. That okay, so, yeah. so I'm just reading really random, bro, because like I've been carrying cash on me, bro, and uh, Kai just my tip money. Mm, and, oh, yeah. And, bro, no, but the places aren't taking cash anymore. Yeah, yeah. Like uh, yesterday, no cash for fucking uh, a uh, day pass. Well, I went to a Taipei Mountain members today would take cash. Cash. I'm just like, bro, like no one's taking cash anymore. Like, mm. why? Yeah, I mean, we were my neighbor, like, dude, my math guy doesn't take cash anymore. That's the problem. When the street drive takes cash, yeah. that's like, the problem. This was like, yeah, sell me. I'm gonna be like, what tra- What phone do you have? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, I don't take cash anymore. What? I'm like, this is blasphemous. Yeah, but they're just like a lot of places aren't paying cash anymore. Uh, I just feel like probably because of COVID and everything else, their excuse to get away. They're just like, yeah, we don't trust your filthy money. You send it to us. Don't give us that look. Send us that shit, John. Cash is cash, bro. Cash is king. Uh, I mean, it was at one point. Well, what? So what? So what digital currency is the way to go. Okay. I don't. I, I don't. I don't personally believe so. I don't either. But it's it's just the convenience for the fact that like, even though you do have the hardcore hardcore cash right there, like I said, I, I just and it's just personal personal opinion. I just believe like, because of COVID, a lot of people use that excuse for just going just going cashless. They have the Apple Pay and everything, so they they don't have to worry about their cashiers dealing with money. It's just more of like a very simple here's your thing. Beep. All right, cool. Oh no, I I I don't do change. You know, not a fucking counter. Like, what's what's the bigger issue here? But see, yeah, but well, I understand that. But like, let me use an example here. Okay, what if your system crashes? Because like when I went to uh, SummerSlam a couple years ago, none of the POS has worked. Or you get all your shit dead. Yeah, and like you could, so you couldn't buy beer. Mm-hmm. So it's just like at that point now, like if you don't take cash, so you're gonna lose on revenue. Yeah, because your system doesn't want to work. Your system's slow. Or you're just not working. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, 
even when I, I mean, I, I feel like, yeah, they will. And that's that's crazy though. Yeah, I mean, yeah, but that, that, that's gonna suck for them. And uh, other places like yeah. Seven Eleven, she ain't gonna pop. Yeah, for true. Them. But then they're they're probably like ah, for like the two percent mass of that broad cash, we still make this fat profit. Like <laughs> it's not gonna hurt our pockets. Yeah. Touche. Yeah, that's the way I see it too. Yeah, yeah. 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 The not a well, I'm gonna say like, let's say for example, like at EDC, mm-hmm. all of a sudden my days have power outage, and now no tables work. Oh, well, are you just not going to sell anything for an hour or how long it takes for it to come on? Well, yeah. well, I mean, for places like EDC, people already know going in that it's cashless. So, 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 so it's one of those things to where if their system does shut down, that's, that's everybody shit out of luck. They better yeah. have free water. Yeah. I better get a free goddamn nacho. Because I'm, I'm, I'm about to be like, I'm starving. I need, bro, they, our EDC was fun because this food was my savior giving me water and shit. Yeah, that was hilarious. Did you guys experience that? And I think it happens every year. I think uh, Cascade with this Redux set always ends the night or the the, the last that day. That ended the festival. Yeah, that ended the festival. That ended it. So, um, but it happens every year. And I'm just like so fucking thirsty. And I'm just like, I just want anything. It could be alcohol, it could be a soda, water. And I'm just like going to every like vendor area right there. We're all out. I was like, what do you mean you're all out? Out of what? We just get water, I guess. Yeah, we don't got water. I remember they were, they were having this uh, tonic water. You want to buy tonic water? I was like, are you kidding me? I was like, tonic water? It's like, is it cold? It's warm. It was like soup warm. I was like, damn. damn. I wouldn't get one of those. <laughs> I looked out. Really? I looked out. I actually got an uh, electrolyte uh, drink. How? I, I saw like- I know, I, bro, I kid you not, like we were just walking. So you know where I main stage like wraps around like, the, the, the Yeah. Stage. So we were like walking around that corner. I think they go to some bathrooms mm-hmm. and there was like a stand right here and I was fucking thirsty. And I was like, you know what? Like I need to get something. So I go to the stand and I'm like, hey, like do you guys have like anything like water or like anything? And I was like, okay for it. And they're like, oh no, like, yeah, like, here, take this. And I look at this fucking lunch and I'm like, yeah, cool. <laughs> Why did that person first one yeah. He's like, here you go, you look thirsty. Yeah, no, but even with him though, uh, what was it? Day, day two? two? Yeah, day was two. Was that your guys' first EDC? That was mine. That was my second. Second one? Yeah. I, I, I remember mm-hmm. sometimes I bump into child like randomly at Ray sometimes. Oh, do you? Like, <laughs> I, I think it happened like two, three times. And then I was like, yo, it, he'd be like, Oh um, God! Yeah. And you'd be like, you'd be like, yeah, like, and then like, I was like, bro, I don't even think you remember seeing me yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Leo, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't even remember meeting you at some point. <laughs> yeah, yeah, see, uh, yeah, you, you, you met one of my, one of my alter, alter personalities. Yeah, yeah. and I was just like, yeah, so you know, I, bro, I was like, oh, was he? I think you were with Matt. I think. Probably. Yeah, and then okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then uh, I was like, "What's up, buddy?" And, like I saw man, he's like, "Oh, what's up, dude?" At hard, probably. I didn't feel hard. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. Well, but I was just like, I was probably like, "Yeah, so how he was like, he was like, oh, what's up, dude?" Like, oh, like, yeah. I was like, I was like, my boy, you don't remember nothing about yeah. that. Uh-huh. And that's how it was. I was like, oh, okay, cool. But it's 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 all in love with it's all in love with but whenever we see each other, you know. Now the fun part about like raves too is like you don't see people and that was shit. It's a and then, like you said, like the next day, you'll be like, "Oh fuck, I did see that. bro." What's always funny to me is we're like, you see people like on stories, or you yeah. see people on picture, and you wake up and you're like, "Oh fuck, I did see this person." I'm mm-hmm. like, I don't remember that carnage at all, but yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah. You. What I love about raving more now is the fact of as we get older, you know, where we're damn, near, we're damn near nine years removed from high school, etc., stuff like that. The people that whether hated it and or you just never would have thought would be at raves, they're starting to pop up. Like I said, I, I don't want to drop no names, but there's a, a specific girl in high school. She was part of the, you know, the, the, that little clique, uh, you know, little, little spoiled kids, you know, she, she was up, up, up there. Um, and then like I said, you know, like every, every country, she didn't like EDM, whatever. All of a sudden, nine years later, I, I randomly see her right next to me at a main stage with her man just kind of vibing. I'm like, main whoa. I'm, I'm all like, she's here out of all people. I was like, mm, she got converted. I, I, I love that for you. And and, and, and and that's the great thing that I, I'm like, hell yeah. You, you got to convert some of these people, baby. These people out here, 
you know, they're a little stuck in their ways in, in a way. And, and I, I feel like the rave music, it's especially just EDM music in general, because it's so broad, it can touch a lot of things that people may like. And, and if you actually go to a rave, it really is free, it's fun, you know what I'm saying? Especially for the women. It's not free. It's no, like, right. Free. Yeah, free. Yeah. <laughs> for free in the sense of like you can be free, yeah. like free spirit. Yeah, yeah. Right. It's hell, hell of, and, and then I, I don't want people to ever, you know, to listen to some of our comments about, you know, some of our fellows and, and like how they dress and everything and our reactions because we we got mad love for everybody. I'll let mm-hmm. you know that right now. You can come and wear whatever the hell you want. You can be Chewbacca hey, with your ass out. Yeah, <laughs> like, like when you I think <laughs> like what is with us is like here's the thing. Like I don't care what y'all do. It's when like you get me involved in it, and that's where it's funny because like, bro, do what you're gonna do. Mm-hmm. But like the second you bring me into this, yeah. I'm gonna have I'm gonna have a reaction or an opinion. So like that's where it's just like, bro, go have your fun, do what you're gonna do. Like I'm a, I'm enjoy like enjoy. you're here to enjoy. I'm here to enjoy myself. Yeah, yeah. But when you bring me into it. I'm I'm gonna have how how I feel about about certain situations. Are you saying that people get a little too touchy? <laughs> uh, yeah. You know what's funny though is I've been uh, touched at every single event yeah. this year. Well, what's <laughs> funny, <laughs> no, what was funny yesterday is Kev was just messing with me uh, for a vlog. Yeah. And he came up and grabbed my hand, and I got instantly. I was like, bro, don't fucking do that. <laughs> I was just like, that's the one that don't fucking don't grab my hand like that. I was like, don't do that. Yeah, you're yeah. like, you know what, bro? We ain't cool anymore. <laughs> no, I just told him, he was like, damn, but I was like, don't fuck. Like, that's the one thing that will fucking piss me off is like, just don't grab my hand like that. Yeah. No, you need you need a back or something? You good, bro? I heard from someone grabbing me on the back, then come in and reach and grab my hand. Like, okay, bro, because it's not just guys, though. Like, even at um, heart, when I, bro, I do not like that, bro. Like, I do not like people grabbing me and pulling me. I, I That's remember. a room that I don't like. Mm-hmm. I'm from, I remember going to a, to a festival and then like I'm there like grooving and then um, at the time like I, I was dating a chicken and I was just like, I just get like, I'm, I'm thinking she's behind me, you know? And then yeah. like, I'm like, okay, we're, we're having a good time. And then I feel like uh, my ass gets smacked and then I was just like, I'm thinking about chick. <laughs> and then I'm just like right there. And then I see her walk over here, I was like, <laughs> like she went to go get like a quick little little drink for us, and then because uh, I was just grooving, I was like, yeah. I was like, she was like, it's it's like, like walking distance yeah. right there, and then I just I just get my ass man, and I was just like, cool, and then I just see her walk, I was like, <laughs> and I was just like, so who's behind me? <laughs> yeah, and it was like some fucking, you know, I was like, I was like, Did you smack my ass, and then he's like, and then he saw my girl like, wait, who smacked your ass? I was like. I thought it was you the whole time. I was just like over here grooving and stuff like that. I was just he like, probably was, Loki. He probably did that shit. It was just probably like, oh, shit, I'm gonna play this shit. No, he did. He did. Like, he, he, he like, so I, and then he, uh, I, like, he saw what I noticed and he was just like, kind of like played it off. And I was just like, this guy just smacked my ass. I was like, bro, what the heck? But yeah, you see, like, at that point, I was like, I, 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 it, was, it was funny because, you know, I saw the dream, I was like, this is your your <laughs> mind was yeah. just like, wait a minute. <laughs> I was like, God damn yeah, I mean, it. I was like, all right, whatever. You just shrug it off. But sometimes, you know, in, in the rave community, when you're at the rave, you just like shrug it off. Like, eh, I'm not, yeah. I'm not going to. Exactly to that point, because I've, I've even asked some people ask me because of my story. They're like, damn, Shiloh, like, 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 we know you on like a personal level. Like, you're checking dudes whenever dudes touch you. Like, 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 like you're ready to fight on site. Why, why aren't you do that? at like some of these festivals and then I, I tell people I'm like first and foremost your boy is 95% of the time on a sick one yeah so when I'm on a <laughs> sick one I'm drinking I'm enjoying myself if it's at like a club scene or whatever that's kind of different because I don't give a fuck about getting kicked out of a club ooh you kick me out of a club but you kick me out of hard summer or, or like or like an event like that that I paid a lot of money for to time to do or whatever like there, there's a lot of repercussions that go along with the one now of course I don't mind fighting if you're disrespecting a lady I'm with or like yeah. or like you're extra to where like you grab me on some like rip down I'm gonna do it but <coughs> touching me like so touching my hand you know the, the little ass slap and you're walking away like I'm gonna visually check you and I'm gonna give you that energy of like I'm gonna rip your head off if you do it again but to go to that extent I'm like look I guess uh, I got Skrillex on in 35 minutes I'm gonna shrug this and I'm gonna dance my life away and I'm, I'm not worried yeah. about you.
So no, nah, you've never got to get that far. Like there's like how you like it's all about the environment you're in. Like at the end of the day, I know people are just like they're off their shits. Like they're gonna be fucking ballsy. And like you said, like I'm I'm gonna mentally like visually check you. It might be a compliment. Yeah, like I'm gonna visually visit too. I'm up until all that. Yeah. Like, you could come. <coughs> you, you could verbally like like you you know what and then and this phrase has irked me a little bit. I don't mind. A, uh, I wouldn't mind a guy coming up to me instead of smacking my ass. He's just like, damn, big sexy. Like, how are you doing? <laughs> I, I would take that. I'll be like, I'll be like, I'm doing great. Doing great right? Right? Thank you. Like I'll say, like into the accent, like bro, like, I've been at raves where like there's been like ages out, like hit on your fucking number day, brother. Like that's not like where I'm at, but like I appreciate that. But like I'll give you the rest of your night. Like that's just, and that's how I do it. Like I've had that too. Like bro, if you're thinking about comment like that, like well, like I'm not gonna trip on that. Yeah. But like when your first instinct is like I'm gonna grab you or I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do something, like I'm just like dog, what are you doing? I'm yeah. like buy me yeah. a drink. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> At least offer me something first. So let me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No poppers for me. Yeah. <laughs> don't offer me no. no. And I think that's where like people like they might take it as like, oh, like we don't like it more aggressive. But, like no, it's just like bro, like when you come into like my personal space without any kind of invitation. <clears throat> so without any kind of invitation, like you're just coming in and just shooting your shot. Like bro, like, I'm gonna feel a type of way about it because this is I'm just not cool with that. Like bro, like, and I told like even with women. If someone just comes sort of grabbing me, I don't like it. Mm-hmm. Like, I just don't like it. Like, if you just come up and grab me for no reason, I'm going to have a very, like, a, like a aggressive reaction. Like, I just don't like it. So, it's not just single out to men. It's women, too. Yeah. For, like, if you just come and grab me, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I'm not going to feel good about it. Yeah, I'm, I'm the type of guy, because, because, yes, it's, it's especially at festivals, too. Of, of course, you know, we do get women that, of course, will go up to you. Touch you, grab you, and of course with me, if you're bad, you can go come up and grab me any day of the week. I don't care what you're doing, but you're, but you're not gonna little kid grab me like come over here like some of them do. Like yeah. no, 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 no. But yeah, you can grab my waist. You know, like I don't, I don't personally mind that. Like like I said, I'm I'm a very flirtatious fella, so. You, you catch me on like, it's, like, it's like an oh. aggressive thing, like where someone just like grabbed your fucking arm and start pulling you, or someone grabbed your fucking head or face. Oh yeah. Oh, and I'm just, it's like shit like that where I'm just like, well, bro, like, what are you doing? Like I don't, I don't know you. Like don't do, like don't do that. Like mm-hmm. it's stuff like that where like they're aggressive with it, and I'm just like, nah. Yeah, I, I get that. Yeah, I get that. But yeah, there's a yeah. When it comes to the women, I'm a lot more lenient. You abuse me. <laughs> you know, I'm vulnerable today. You do whatever you want. That's what I mean. <laughs> Respectfully. Yeah. Respectfully. Yeah. Do whatever you want. Yeah. Yeah. But um. But yeah. But just, just on that yeah. last subject, I just, I just feel like though that men, that, that, that this is something that we we need to be better at. Oh, of course we don't know everybody's situation, but we do know that there's a lot of, a lot of girls that with, 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 with their friends or whatnot. Like like we visibly see. A lot of women by themselves. We just as men need to step up for a lot of women. Meaning, like when, when we see the weird shit going on, when we see random men, like like I I I, I had to do this hour summer last time. I had to stick up for a woman that a dude came up, clearly off off the M and M's. You feel me? Fool was just feeling right and was like pressing up on this girl and like she didn't feel a certain way, but she's a small girl compared to some big dude. And I just had to yeah. tell him, I'm like, hey, fool, like back up. She's not feeling your vibe. And of course, homie saw me. He was just like. Ooh. Keep it you're sexy over here. <laughs> you can call me big whatever. You stay away from that woman. And then, and then after that, like that fool left, and she was like, like, thank you, seriously. And it's like, it's like a lot of women don't get that. Shout out to her job. So what's up, though? Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Yeah. So what's up, though? And then she's like, damn, we can't wait. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, no. With that, no. <laughs> Is she wrong? <laughs> Is he wrong? <laughs> Trying to sign a window opportunity. Yeah. I was like, well, now that he's gone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm just trying to save you. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so crazy. It's like, uh, yeah, I think it's like, especially hard summer. Hard summer attracts like some of the non-rivers too. And I feel like when people like, you know, people that don't go to raves, they like, it's, it's like a community, right? Like, you go there, have a good time, you're there for the music, you're there for your friends, stuff like that. But people on the outside, like, you know, especially, like, dudes, they'd be like, oh, dude, I'm just going to go there just to, you know. Just to hit on these girls. Yeah. You know like, what I'm saying? Thing, though, too, like, and they completely ignore the music, and they're just getting plastered, and then they're just like, I'm like. Well, that's the thing that's crazy, too. Like, that's where I was like, that, that's where it kind of sucks like, about the Nazis. It's because, like, dudes are, like, people now are going 
yeah, for two things. One, like you said, fucking chase tail, but also just to take drugs and abuse the fuck out of them. Like they're just like, oh yeah, like I want to go fucking take them all. I want to go take some E. Yeah, well, everyone takes their pre-workout or M and M's. Yeah, know, and, and that's what I'm saying. Like as they they go and take this shit and don't understand like where they're going and how it's gonna play, and they abuse the fuck out of this. So like now you get dudes that are fucking zooed out of their mind, not thinking clear, not thinking straight. Like bro, we had checked this dude, uh, not hard summer. Cause this dude was just off, like this off the rocks, like this full of foaming from the mouth, and just bad. So it was just like you get people like that too, where like because oh, yep. yeah, bad, yep. going yeah. bad, bro. We checked the shit out in front of everybody during ISO X. So I'll never forget. I was like, <sighs> I was right in the middle of my great awakening, and then that happened. So then we had to check that <laughs> 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 So I don't want to say what you were doing that day, but you were the furthest from a great awakening. <laughs> <laughs> you were further away from a great awakening than you think you were. You <laughs> uh, <laughs> said, I was going to be reawoken. So I, that was the opposite of you were. <laughs> we were waiting for that. <laughs> yeah, I would prefer that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but rays are fun. I mean, I, even though there's like those little shitheads, there's people, and, and there's chicks too like that. Yeah. It's not just dudes too. There's like chicks that they go and fucking shit up. I'm like, dude, you're like so fucking like making a mess, stuff like that. Yeah. It just happens all around. But I think for the most part, there's a good amount of like. No, it's so fun. Like, bro, like, and that's how like, I feel like I'm yeah. back in it now because I see how much fun it is. Yeah. It's just like, I think the NASA, like, I think that's why so many people are like kind of over it. Yeah, I think it was just like, like you said, the convenience of the nonsense. Yeah. For me, like, it was in college, like, when I first started going, so it was like, it's nothing to do in San Marino. What, 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 do, you, what do you do in San Marino for fun? Nothing. Like, there's like, you know, people have, have sex and do drugs. <laughs> go to, go to the nonsense. That's basically it. Like, I was just like, I literally blew up all my financial money on rates. I was just like, yeah, we're like, yeah, we're like, oh, well, what are we doing this weekend? Well, there's a rave down the street. Let's go. It was that or uh, $2 Tuesdays in Redlands. Yep, that was the thing. I was there. I, I was there. I was there. I was there for Tuesdays. I was there for the Thursdays. I was there for the Friday, Saturday. I was there last night. <laughs> you was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I was there. The Chevy X is coming to the district. <laughs> I was there for business purposes. He was prospecting. <laughs> so you were there for business purposes. Yes. Okay. How many other ones did you have? <sighs> we took a minor break and went down to the underground for a few drinks. Just, just, just two other waters. That's it. That's two other waters. Okay. <sighs> yeah, just two. Okay. Very, so, very business, sure. so business <laughs> meets pleasure at the underground. <sighs> Again, John. John. <laughs> <laughs> Some of us just, you know, we just need a drink. That's you know, just need no, a drink. That's right. Yeah, we just need a little that's drink. Right. And then two. And then Meet a nice person. And that's it. That's it. That's it. That, that, if you want to elaborate on that, you can. I don't <laughs> on nothing. I'm a man of God. Just made a, made a few good uh, business deals. So it's a whole lot. So business was booming last <laughs> night. <laughs> <laughs> All caps. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> to the sunrise. Uh, so actually, that I was gonna say too. Uh, opposite festivals, everything like that. Me and Blue have done a lot of Vegas trips. Yeah. How do you feel like Vegas compared to raves? Like, cause that's always the big thing that people ask me mm -hmm. is like going to a festival just to river, just going to Vegas. So like from your experience, like what can you say? Like what's the good and bad about it? Um, with Vegas yeah. or with both festivals? I mean, what's the difference? And like, what do you feel like is good about Vegas? What do you think is bad about it? Like how would you compare it to like a festival? Um, I think Vegas, it's its own like little monster, I guess. You know, like if you, the difference is like, like you said, you're more free spirited. I mean, you could be free spirited in Vegas. You just wake up in a jail cell. <laughs> <laughs> you can be as free spirited as you want to be. You just wake up like, fuck, oh, happening again. <laughs> Here again, like, damn it. Uh, yeah, like with, with with the rape. When you go to raves, it's like a whole weekend. So it's like a whole the journey. And you know, like once you go to something, you're like, oh. like after the first day, like you're like, oh. This weekend's gonna hurt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it, it's fun because you're there, like, let's say, um, like, for example, EDC. It was like, I'm pretty sure it was like a whole experience. Like, you guys are, you, you know, you're gonna be there for three days. 
So like, let's make the best out of it, and it's gonna be like you're you're gonna bump into friends, and it's gonna be like a, it's like your own little community right there. Yeah. So it's fun. Like you get to go back and forth. Even if you had a shitty first day, you have two more days. Yeah, that's you true. know. Yeah. With Vegas, you can't really do that. I mean, you can. You can have like a shitty fucking day, and then I mean, I guess the next day pop off. But sometimes when you have one shitty day in Vegas, your whole weekend's like fuck. You know. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, like, like, yeah. Well, to be honest, this is a great opportunity for my, my own personal story because you were actually there. With uh, when we were at Wet and my shit got roofied. Oh, yeah, roofied? Yeah, remember when you got, you were, I think it was you and Jeremy. You and Jeremy left. And I was still at Wet. Oh, <laughs> yeah. oh, dude. That was hilarious. <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> that was hilarious. Like, that was hilarious. <laughs> So we have the third person. We have the we have an outside uh, what's it called outside the pr- person to to share that story. Yeah. So I think it was the three of us, and I think we were like rushing a Vegas trip. You know when you, when you like have a Vegas trip, like we planned that weekend. Like we we're like, let's go this weekend. Yeah. We're, I think it was like the night before, and I think we were pushing. Like we we're just like uh, we we're getting hit with a few obstacles. Like, well, whose car do you take? Well, I got, my tags are spotted. This. Oh, so we're just like pushing it. We ended up making it and then i think we found like a last minute room um we go to i think it was like the was that the last thing or that was the second that was the second that was saturday that was saturday we went to a public and then uh we're having time live and i think we well what's the name um uh, yeah. yeah he was he was there and then uh he's like yeah just come in guys blah, blah blah i was like so we went and we were like we're, we're, we're like having a few drinks here and there, and then, but I think we were getting pretty heavy, me and Jeremy. Uh, well, I was trying to get my clothes. Yeah, and he was just like shocked. Like, he just woke, he literally woke up that morning, I think, and he woke up like, ah, well, and I, I would, like, sometimes I would, I would never see John like that. He just literally, like, he woke up with, with a purpose. <laughs> like, my man woke up with a purpose that day, and I was just like, ah. And I, I woke up a little hungry, like, ah, I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait. You know, me and Jeremy were just like sipping on some Crown Royal, I think. And we're just like sipping, like barely sipping. And then we got there, we're kind of buzzed a little. And then uh, John was just going from one place to another place. And then he was finding like MILFs here or MILFs that. And then just, like my boy was like, yo, too. And then I was just like, oh, okay. Like, oh, my boy's getting the ladies. And then I think there was one point where he got persuaded and they're like, oh, come over here. Like, he was following the chick. And my boy was having the time of his life. He was like, Recording, he was like with some shit, like, hey, Leo, record me, record me. Like, all right, cool. My boy was living life, and then I was like, he got to the point where he just disappeared. And I was like, do you know where John is? We kept calling him, the call didn't go through. I was just like, ah, oh, he's here. And then we're like, at that point, we're like, it's just two dudes. Like, we're just right there, like, dehydrated. I was like, mm, I'm not having fun anymore. I think the DJ's even gone. Like, they're like, where's John at? I was like, well, hey, there's a lazy pool right there. So we, we go to the lazy pool, we're chilling, we're like, having time. Then we go to In and Out, I was like, you think like John is okay? <laughs> we're like eating, and I'm like, yeah, I'm pretty sure he was like, there's like, yeah, he's a grill man. He, he knows where to go. And then I think you break it back to the. Like, you, I texted you guys like, where you guys at? And you were like, in and out. I was like, yeah. what the fuck? <laughs> hey, this is where I'm still functional and conscious. Okay, so I'm just like, okay, what the fuck do I do? So I was at the Uber. All I remember is like, I don't even know how I got out. I don't even remember leaving my Republic. All I remember is getting into an Uber and there was an Uber pool. So I was with the other people. <laughs> <laughs> so like I got out to the car and there's two people in the back seat and I'm just like, that's the worst when you go, <laughs> sorry to cut you yeah, but that's the worst I think when you're like so obliterated and reek like alcohol and like you're just like I don't think I had a shirt on. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't think I had a shirt on. Yeah, you're like right there and you have like a, a nice little like happy couple or but like two old, old old like two old people like they're like this fucking degenerate walking in here. No, that was a funny no, this is the funny part was like I was just like, Are you my driver? He's like, Yeah, I'm like Hi <laughs> They're like And then uh the wife was like talking to me. She's like, "Oh, did you just come for the party?" And I'm like, "Yeah." She's like, "Yeah, we're going to there was some like show. Like, I think it was like an old show. Like, it might have been the Osmonds." They're like, "Yeah, we're gonna go to dinner, and then we're going to the Osmonds." And I'm just like, "Okay." <laughs> nice. <laughs> I'm just sitting there, just like, <laughs> you know, you to go to that show with them, <laughs> bro. No, it took like thirty. No, bro, this is the funny part. It took like thirty or forty minutes because we went to pick somebody else up. 
So I'm just like, bro, where am I going? Dude, that guy was some random guy. He was just, he was just doing his chores. And yeah, I'm just like, where am I going? Because they got dropped. I was also to get dropped off. And I'm just like, all right. And then I just remember, I... Cause I remember the I could so I can probably till this day still get back to that I get back myself back to that room. I think I'm flooding my mind. I remember getting back to the room and just that was it. I just fucking knocked. <laughs> yeah, he came in, he was like he, he still had a white ball too. Yeah. Yeah. He's like You yeah, sons of a bitch is <laughs> like, <laughs> like you guys just left me there. Doom. <laughs> and I was there and there was a white ball. I was like, whoa, what's your ball, man? He's like, yeah, you, you guys just Abandon me, like, 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 like I'm slurring his words, like, you okay? He's like, bro, you were with babes, you were right there with chicks, like, we didn't want to interrupt you, and then he's like, we just went to the lazy pool, we, we were buying time in the lazy pool, like, any call? Nope. I'm like, alright, we waited like a whole two hours, I was like, my boy was like, on a journey, he came back, and then he was like, oh, you guys abandoned me, I'm like, dude, you're slurring your words, how much did you drink? But he passed out for like two days. The next day, he didn't wake up. Remember, we were not, yeah. and they're like, nope, I'm not leaving. I'm just. No, I tried getting ready for it. There was a video of me, like, uh, just sitting there, and I'm just like, bro, what the fuck? And I remember I walked, and like, I was just like, yeah, I'm not fucking going now. I was like, I'm going back to the room. And I woke up the next day, and I think it went to wet, and my head was just ringing, and I was just like. You went to wet again? Yeah. Dude, I, I went to wet again. Yeah. You went down bad. Yeah, his fucking brain, your, your brain was giving me that sensor like, no. I was just like, I had chicken tenders. The chicken tenders like, was on. Yeah, I had the chicken tenders and I was just like, these chicken tenders taste like shit. Yeah. <laughs> See, and, and with, with that story being said, like, that's not what it could be. Like, yeah. at a rave, like, you, you're in for the whole weekend and you better strap up. In Vegas, you can just have a shitty night and then you're like, you know what, I'm already over this trip. Like, I'm ready to go back. You know, as opposed to there, you're just like, they're like, all right, it's gonna, it, it start off shitty, mm-hmm. but it's gonna progressively get better or worse <laughs> at a rave, you know? It could be that. Yeah, cause it's, because I feel like also with the rave, there's a select amount of time. So like, unlike Vegas where you, you could be like, you know what, we can go hit this, I can sleep for five hours yeah. and then we can go hit a club at like midnight or 11 o'clock and still have some fun. Fuck no, you're sh- the gates open at 3 and it's gonna end at fucking like 12 or 1 depending on if you're at EDC then it's gonna be an all day thing and EDC is a little bit better for some people because you, you went hard or you pregame, you can sleep for 3 hours and of course you'll miss a couple sets but you can still wake up and you still got like 3 or 4 more to go so like you're, you're fine there but for a regular just event or festival or whatever that's always kind of like that thing that no matter what happens you kind of mentally got to tell yourself like look i paid 250 for these tickets i'm gonna get every last bit of this 250 and yeah. you know what i'm saying like and i'm not i'm not just gonna fucking watch slander once and just be cool with it no i'm, I'm gonna watch every I'm guy really mad. I just saw slander. <laughs> yeah. like like you get so messed up i mean shoot that was like one of like my coachella story bro like i'm not gonna go into too many details but your boy I was mixing a little too much, man. I I just passed the final. It was a hundred and seven degrees. This is Coachella two years ago with Kendrick Lamar and all that. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. And man, mm-hmm. I'll, I'll let you know. When I said your boy was puking walking in, like walking into the event. Yeah. That was me. And I like, it was puking everywhere. I was puking everywhere, Leo. I was, that, I was yeah. about the, the walking puke, Leo. Have you ever done that before? A little, a little walking puke? Bro, it was the funniest thing. Because me and my boy Eric were walking, and there were like these cute girls that were walking by, and we were like talking to them. Boy, sprayed them. And, <laughs> <laughs> so, like, you know when you're confident, like, talking your game and shit like that? And like, they had a funny look, you're like, wait, what the fuck? <laughs> like, they were looking at <laughs> You're working on your tricks, and boy, you're puking, and you're just fucking puking, and we're like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> because I hit him with the shield, bro. Like no, no one can see me because when you when you walk and puke, there's levels to this. You can't wear white. Like you gotta just do it. You gotta lift your hand like this, and then you just when gotta you just walk and puke. This is the first. Like, <laughs> this is a, this is a bro, process. You really I, did this. I perfected it. So. <laughs> I really did this. Like, like I said, so like I won't forget this because the girls' reaction, and then it's like a frame. Like I saw the girls, and then I looked over at Shai. <laughs> Yeah, and then because we were literally, like, it was the metal detector. That's why, because yeah. we were literally going to go for the metal detector. And I was like, I cannot show these people on the boat. I won't get in. So I'm by a trash can, and I literally was just like, 
smiling at me and I'm just like do 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 literally take five steps <laughs> 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 I'm like, oh, oh, man, this. All, just spraying people all the way to, all the way to Vince Staples and then I lay down and then I literally got enough for magic which was like my my theme song for the week was like magic so right when I heard magic started dancing I was like oh yeah and then it ended and I was like me <laughs> <laughs> but when it laid down and yeah it was just a cool little hour, like little hour. I Boy, like had a puck, puck, but like a little puck up, and I was good. Yeah, I was ready hilarious. for the day. That was <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, exactly. That's how sometimes, like, yeah, I've had my fair share of like, I think one EDC where I drank. Like, I remember I woke up like you, like man, it's like oh, like just drinking yeah. Jamie. I was like drinking Jamie, and then mm-hmm. to the point where I was, I blacked out during that little check-in, like the middle check-in yeah. and all that, and I was just like, shit, I was already like walking like I was like dang I'm like I'm twisted and then I and then I just fell for it like three hours went by and I came back to life like oh damn this is bad I was, just, like, <laughs> I was like and I was all by myself and I was just like oh I thought that's like the worst feeling is like when you know you're doing something in it's daylight and all of a sudden you're just like oh fuck it's dark <laughs> yeah. you're all laughing yep. dark with no friends yeah. is not a you're good time laughing yeah <laughs> after that many times I was like oh, were you like those are those are the shitty ones where you like overdo it and then I was just like, damn, I'm like I remember one of you see I was walking and I was like, damn, I'm really chilling with no friends right now. Like I just came back to my senses and I was like, where am I? I was like in the fucking boonies of like EDC. Like I was like, ah, I should probably call somebody. Like, yeah. I called them, I was like, where are you at? I was like, uh, how long has it gone? Five hours. I was like, oh, I'm coming back. <laughs> it's like I'm coming back. I'm coming back. Yeah. yeah. I was like, they're like, have fun. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> you tell me. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, there's a fair share of like fun. Um, raising festival. I think EDC is a fun one, but EDC is like a, a a roller coaster of emotions. It's a. It's you want to talk about animal? Yeah. That, that that's one of the final bosses right there. Yeah. Because it could be because if you think that countdown, if you think that nocturnal escape, any of these equate to EDC, mm-hmm. you are absolutely wrong. You're and we, I I did it for the past what two years camping. Oh yeah. Have you been the camping or not? Nah, hell no! Nah. I love a beautiful air conditioned bed. That yeah. I can go out to the pool area and, and meet some nice Bro, people. Are, are you seeing the nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And I've had my fair share of that as well, but it's just like the journey. And then just having that liability of having someone like BDD there and then back, it's just like, ah, oh, that person wants to have fun, but you know, you gotta be responsible. You gotta be like, okay, I'm gonna, or some of them are not responsible, or be like, oh, I'm gonna get there, drink, and then I'll stop drinking three hours prior, which I'm like, ah, oh, okay, like, that makes sense. But it's just like, Having the, the the ability waking up and you're like I'm already here yeah and then I get that. yeah that, that's that's the cool part about it it's just like and uh, one of the ones I was really surprised which is coming up like in two weeks is uh, nocturnal yeah. I did camping there for the first time last year and I live in San Bernardino I was just like I, I don't even remember how I signed myself up to to be in that in that little group with uh with uh, the campsite I was like wait I agree to this I yeah. must have been drunk when I said yeah. this I was like all right cool. But uh, yeah, and that was I think my most favorite camping. Really? Yeah. Okay. And it's like it's like crazy. It's, yeah, it's like at the uh, the Glen Helen, yeah, camping, you know, like that that area. But it was like you know, and at EDC we we had like designated like bathrooms and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. Besides that, you have, like your own like designated camp for them, right? Yeah. There you you build your own campsite. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Yeah. So you like build like bring your own tent. You have a water park right there? Isn't there like water park right there? Uh, you know what? I think they used to have it. Okay. I think I think oh, I don't know. I think after COVID, they kind of like okay. We're a little wishy washy with it, mm-hmm. but uh, yeah, there is that. I think that um, that water park. But that that time, the the camping for uh, Nocturnal was the vibes were immaculate. And, so- and you think you're like, I, don't, I hate camping. I I don't like camping at all. Like normal camping. Do, do you guys go camping? No, I never have. Nope, but I've been camping before. I want to. I want to. That, that, that's definitely on my Yeah, I want to try it, but I, me personally, like, it wouldn't be my cup of tea. And the fact that I did right there for uh, Nocturnal, I was just like, okay, it was like fun because then they had like their own little 
like you would walk off to like some cave of like things where you'd meet him. Like it was like a dance floor. I was like, where am I? You know, oh, inside yeah. the camp. Like, yeah, it was like you would keep walking and then like yeah, out of nowhere you're a dance floor of all like mirror and it was like, what the hell? Like did yeah. you see it the whole time? Right. So yeah, it was cool. So that's that was my favorite camping, I'd wanna say. Um so yeah, Nocturnal's definitely up there, Easy's right. up there. Flash house and then, but you know what I want to focus on more? Like now that we're talking, like you know, not saying it's kind of burnt out. I kind of want to like maybe back off a little bit from them and then save my pennies and then just go to the bigger ones. Like well, uh, that's like our big thing too. Like we're doing we're doing nocturnal, but like naked um, mm-hmm. uh Colorado, mm-hmm. we're down our lineup, and like we're like like ninety percent of wants that. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. that's the news. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. yeah. Colorado. Yeah. Yeah. That's. That lineup looks sick. I've already requested it, and I'm already preparing to be sick, so I'm gonna damn. I'm going. So. Yeah, that's where. Um, that's where. Um, I think Gold Rush is coming up. It's like oh yeah, 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 and I think maybe just by that. I don't know. Probably. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll we got Tiesto too. Yeah, yeah. We got coming up. Uh, all, all three of us are pulled yeah. up to Tiesto. Right in the uh, park. Yeah, that's like a weird name, Rave of the Park. It reminds me of COVID days when we had like the car race. Yeah, the park, <laughs> Rave of the Park. Yeah. Did you guys ever go to those? No. Dude, I no. went to them and I was like, the like the miles that Ravers would go just to still have Raves. Yeah. I was just like, this is kind of different. I was like, all right, we still have fun. It was yeah. like cool. It was like a little different. I, mean, I think it was like Nightmare that you performed. Mm-hmm. I was just like, Remember how sad it was uh, when uh, like COVID happened? I think, I don't know if it was. Tomorrow, no, it wasn't tomorrow. I might have been like Ultra or something like that, but like they had like the virtual raves. Oh, bro, yeah, I was, I was loving those. No, I remember, remember, watching, remember when we were watching the Jess's apartment? Yeah, <laughs> dude, <laughs> some of those were dangerous. Like, yeah. like because you're in the vicinity of your home, you're just like, I don't have to drive. Yeah. Like, you know, kind of like I was saying, like you wake up and you like, and it was like Jamalan, I think, that it was happening. Yeah. And they would be like on their own schedule, so it'd be like, I was like, oh, okay, bro, we'd be up to like four in the morning, like just pounding greens and then yeah. like, black cow, pass <laughs> out, and then wake up and like, you see like some of your homes are still drinking, I'm like, oh, fuck, we're doing this, like, well, we don't work tomorrow, like, yeah. That was, that was a fun time. I actually enjoyed that. I was like, because, you, you know, like, when even right now, like, let's say, you didn't go to a certain event, you get a little bit of FOMO, but the fact that you knew that nobody was going out, yeah. <laughs> like nobody was going out, nobody was missing out on anything, it was just like, and you knew that everybody was at their home respectfully, like watching the same thing you were watching, doing yeah. the same thing you were doing, and I remember even doing like some, uh, jumping on FaceTime too, like with some people who couldn't come, I like, oh, FaceTime, and we'd watch the show, and it'd just be like a vibe, I was like, this is, and I remember, I get that, yeah, that is cool, yeah, yeah, and I was like, this is kind of cool, like, I'm actually enjoying this, I remember one time, I freaking blacked out, and I was like, in my home, like, like, living room area, yeah. and I wake it up, and I was just like, dude, I am trapped, I threw up, I was like, I was like, what is wrong with me, I was like, they got to a point where, you know, uh, dude, I think alcohol sales skyrocketed yeah. during COVID, I was just like, I'm, am I really, tra- I've never gotten that trapped, I was like, I'm really that trapped, I was like, I was stumbling to go to the fucking restroom, it was like walking this in, I was like, I'm gonna make it, I was like, what the, I, as soon as I got up, you know the, uh, when you're like, at the club or you're anywhere and you're like kind of chilling you've just been drinking you know you've been chopped let's say you buy a table right and you've been chopping it up and then that initial like when you get up and it's like dude you're like oh yeah oh, oh fuck yeah. like i don't know where the, the elevation or like yeah. it's a little different everything just gets fucking yeah and it's yeah. like it's like doom you know like <laughs> yeah and then like yeah you start breathing and then everyone's like you good and then like, and then you're like walking, like all scared of paying to the restroom. It's yeah, like, yeah. yeah, that's how it felt. I was like, dude, what the heck? In your own house? Yeah, in my own house. Yeah. They're in the same special water in my face, like, what am I doing? <laughs> 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 what, what has come down in my life? I love that. Yeah, I so, that. but it was, it was, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it for the most part. I don't know if you guys enjoyed it, but it was. I just remember it was just funny, guy. But we were like, so we were just getting trash. I just remember being trash at Jess's apartment doing that. Yeah. Yeah. I, me personally, I, and this is how I am with a lot of these festivals and and even just raves. I'm the type of person that, unless I hear a song at at like a set that I really want. I don't come home and then like just add just a bunch of music or whatever from certain people. Like, like I, I'm I'm one of those people that 
I love going to the festivals and being surprised. So like, so, so like Tiesto, a lot of these other people, they may have bangers from like eight, seven years ago. I, I don't, I just don't feel the intrigue to go and like look, look that up and like read, like listen to that whole catalog. So when I go to a set, I'm like, oh, I know this song. I, I, I just like to go to festivals, just totally kind of like blank free. I don't care who the hell you are. I don't care if you've been there for 10 years. I just like to hear music for the first time because there's nothing like it in the world. I, I yeah. tell people it's just like, you know, um, it's just like for book readers that they, they you know when they read the book or the movie comes out and they're just kind of like, eh, or whatever. Yeah. Not, not to say that the song doesn't hit when you like play it on your phone or whatever, but that a, a set with visuals and everything, and this is my first time hearing fucking whatever song that is. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's, yeah. That's, that's how I am with uh, Where You Are with John Summit. It's, I didn't, never heard that song. Oh, okay. EDC. Nice. And I heard that EDC and I was like, bro, that shit's fucking it's fire. Either. Like, like, like nice. there's, there's very few things, and you know, I, I feel like this for rage, this also goes for festivals, <laughs> you know, reggae, I went to Cali Vibes, just in general, I, like, I always encourage people to go out and just go listen to music in general, reggaeton, there's nothing like listening to your favorite artists underneath, like, the night sky, or just in general, and just hearing that music live, like, like, but like, to me, there's something with my soul, that, and, and like I said, I could be drinking, or sometimes I've been sober, I've been I was, yeah. I was sober for Coachella uh, during Swedish House Mafia and The weekend during yeah. that last set. Yeah. My buzz went down and for an hour and a half, I was just amazed. I was like, I was like, The weekend has this many bangers. Like, I can't stop singing. Yeah. And then Swedish House came and I was like, I was just like, ooh, shit. Ooh, yeah. you feel me? Yeah. That's it. That was beautiful. So yeah, that's, that's kind of my viewpoint on it, which is really good. Yeah, yeah. so I mean, uh, with Tiesto, dude, like you've been Team Tiesto for as long as I've known you, man. How yeah. much do you think you've seen them? Ah, bro, I think like maybe, I don't know, like 30 times, I want to say. Yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. That's just your guy? That, yeah, that's just, it's just home, I guess. Yeah. Dude, I mean, I, I remember starting off with, uh, uh, yeah, like Tiesto being like, remember getting to the community. Like, obviously, I didn't know about Tiesto when I first started reading. But I knew his song, but I never knew it was him. And I was like, oh, I, I fucked this guy. This guy's really cool. And little by little, I was just like, yep, that's my favorite DJ. And I was like, he had some cool songs. Obviously, I like all, all these other DJs, but that's just like my go-to. Yeah. And then uh, my friends were just like, I mean, he's, he's an older DJ, you know, he's, he's a classic. Yeah. That's where I see him. Um, so a lot of people like, they were like, I want the, the new DJ. It's yeah. like, oh, I want like the crazy, like, Chapter, yeah, yeah. Chap DJ, like, yeah. I want him to blow my brains out, kind of thing. <laughs> I was like, I just want to enjoy myself, be like, you know, decomposed and just be chilling there. Uh, but yeah, like, I remember, like, my friend would be like, yeah, we're going to see everyone except TS. So I was like, what? And whatever you he said, like, well, I'm going to leave. I was like, <laughs> I, I would literally go and do my own thing. And then I was like, and I would just, you know, it got to a point where I would just do my own thing and really. I've done that, like, we will always see Tiesto. Like, that's the one thing is, like, we will always see Tiesto. Yeah, I was yeah. like, oh, we're going to go see this. Like, it's going to, sorry, but, like, we'd have, like, during DDC, like, a group of, like, 15. And I'm like, well, I'm going to go to Tiesto. <laughs> like, I'm leaving. I'll go always. Oh, um, it got to a point where I was just like, uh, I was like, yeah, I'm going to see Tiesto all the time. And I think I, I booked into uh, my little Tiesto fam. Like, like, yeah, it, it was nocturnal, and he wasn't even performing, and I bumped into, uh, that are not my really close friends, um, it was like my boy Steve, I uh, Natalie, and some other people too, but I remember they were like right next to like a car, and they brought a totem of Tiesto, and I was like, yo, that's my favorite DJ, like, that's our favorite DJ, nice, if you see us out there, like, come, come say hi to us, and I was just like, alright, I was like, for sure, and then like, they all fucked with Tiesto, like, yeah, yeah, we gotta go, like, um, yeah, and I was just like, my my actual like close friends like at the time, like they were just like, dude, you like Tiesto so much that you you created a whole cult. I was yeah. like, I was like, that's that's how much you like that you now created a cult. I was like, dude, that's dope. Yeah, yeah. Like, you got your people. Like now you know you got your people. We can go see them. Like, yeah, yeah, exactly. So it just like you know, you gotta always follow your dreams. You do. Now yeah. it's cool because I get like the same thing, bro. Like you know how I feel about Martin. Yeah, and Martin yeah. Martin's my guy, and the like, same thing at EDC. Yeah, they were like, oh, we're gonna go see So I was like, at first I was like, you know what? Like let me see how like how far the stages are and everything like that. Yeah, and then once I was like, oh, this cake. I was like, yep, I'm gonna go see Martin. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. know, I feel like I I love that though. I I feel like everybody, you know, 
they stumble upon their favorite DJ. You, you just want to know, like I said, it could be for emotional purposes, it could yeah. just be for everything. Mine is Troy Boy. Like, 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 nice. Troy Boy's mine. Like, like I said, ever since I saw him at Countdown, that was over, man. It, mm -hmm. was, it was just from from vibe standpoint to his visuals to his music. I don't know what it does to me, but we're right when we're right when that the right when that motherfucker come on. He come on. Oh, <laughs> come on, shy. We, we shy is. <laughs> the great awakening happened. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. exactly. Like I said, sober or not, I'm, I'm dancing to that man um, all the time. So, like I said, it's, yeah, it's good time. And and I think that that like since. I won't miss him, and I literally now I don't even I don't even look at live shit anymore. Uh, but like if I see like oh Tears for him, all right, cool. And then everyone else is like blurred out. I was like I don't care who is he. Yeah. As long as I saw him like at, at some point of the night, I'll like like you said, I'll just walk to a stage and be like oh fuck with this. Yeah. I don't even know who it is, and I'm just like I I, I stopped looking at lineups for like the past like two years. Obviously, if you see a big headline, you're like, oh I kind of want to see. But I'll just go to EDC and I'll just like wander off and be like, oh, this is nice. Oh, this is nice too. And yeah. just... No, that's my thing too. Not just, I don't get mad about, this is Ross. I don't get mad about um, like if we don't see somebody. Yeah. Uh, my thing is like, the obviously there's names I want to see, like I want to see a name. Like yeah. there's one I haven't seen yet and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make sure I see them. But like, <clears throat> I don't care like, if we miss somebody or if we buy with somebody else, like cool, like fucking city. We saw Sippy uh, at Heart of Summer. So, yeah. bro, she was dope, bro. Dope. And like, I was like, I fuck with this. Um, but like, what will make me mad is when I'm not doing anything. When like, you know, you're just standing there kind of in limbo. Oh, and you're just like, yeah. right, we're gonna see, like where are we going to go? Like, are like, hey, like, if we're not going to go over here, like, let me go over here and we'll at least listen to this. So, yeah. yeah. You're in the, uh, the unknown space. Yeah. Yes, literally. That's. That definitely hurts me too. Yeah, so that's, that's where I'll be like, what is going on? Yeah, you're like, what, 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 what are we doing? Yeah, but yeah. Uh, you uh, know what the worst part of all that? Where you're like, you're there and there's like, one person has to like, call it out like, what are we doing? And then like, you think that somebody wanted to go to the restaurant and all that, and then you see like, your whole spot right there like, but what, what are we doing? Yeah. And then it's like, well I thought we were waiting for John, wait, what the yeah. fuck? What are we doing? And uh, I've done that. So, that's happened to me so many times. Where, where I'm like sitting there on the concrete, whatever it is. Like you're there waiting. And I was like, "What are we waiting for?" <laughs> and I was like, everyone's like looking at each other, like, I'm like, oh, I'm like, the fuck are we doing? Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's like the worst. Out. I was like, dude, we waited a whole hour. I thought someone was in the restroom. I was oh, like, shit. Oh yeah, that's such y'all out. I'll start getting antsy. Yeah, uh, bro, me too. I'm just like 10 minutes. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm like, like, yeah, I'm like, I gotta go. That's why I'm like, I would go to, that's why most of the time I would go solo dolo to race, because I was like, I'm on my own time. If I wanna waste my own time, I'll waste my own time. If I wanna leave, I'll leave, because I'm in a car. I was like, it's everything's gonna be Gucci. Like, I was like, okay. It's cool rolling with, with the crew, but then yeah. at that point, like, you know, if you're, if you're taking two hours in the shitter, I'm shitting on my own time. Yeah. Not holding yeah. no one back. Yeah, that's <sighs> that's something that for our group we, we, we've gotten better at but there's just there's just certain times me and john have, uh, have done a duo before and then for us especially it's just one of those things to where you know um our lady friends and in, in general they, they, they gotta frequently use the bathroom mm -hmm. with me when i'm in rave mode that motherfucker on lock me, 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 me and my homie unless i've been drinking too much we, we already I'm on a diaper <laughs> <laughs> All right, where? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? You're small day. Oh, buddy, I've been going. Here. <laughs> if it's a good lineup, I'm, I'm sitting down. I'm like, I'm on one of those fucking male diapers. Like, I'm fucking yeah, rocking up. I'm just going to be like, oh, we do this shit. I've been going. I've been going. You know what I'm doing? Doing it right now. <laughs> As we speak. As we speak. <laughs> Yeah, I was just like, that's, uh, that's crazy, man. Oh no, man. I, it's, uh, it's, uh, <laughs> no, it's all over, guys. I get like, it's one of those things where like, if we gotta go to the bathroom quick, cool. Like, if we gotta go take a little minute, cool, like that. But like, it's like what you said, where it's like, bro, like, we're like 30 minutes, 40 minutes, and we're just like standing there not doing anything. It's like, yeah. The the mm -hmm. only time, like, um, I always use the buddy system. Like, you know, if there's like 30 of us, 
don't take half the people. Yeah. Just take one one person, because then you can yeah. navigate to the crowd. Obviously, say excuse, excuse me, not fucking yeah. bum rush them and stuff like that. But I'll just like like take one person, or I've even said before, I was like, if I have to, and nobody, else, I'm like, I'm gonna run because. You guys are gonna slow me down. I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna run over the direction and then come back real quick. Yeah, I'll find you. Yeah, that's no, that's, that's how I'm, bro. I was like, if I have to, I'm like, bro, you gotta understand. Like, I can. Yeah, I'll, I'll figure. Trust me. If there's one person that's gonna find their way back, it's gonna be me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's that's one. I got lost. I got lost hard in summer, and uh, bro, this is the funniest thing too. Like, literally, I went and grabbed. Uh, there was a guy. I was like, this guy that was at like the little like uh, it wasn't an emergency tent, but like they were just giving out stuff. So I was just talking with them. And then I was like, that's how I knew, that's how I knew you were off the shit to you. To no, to that. no, I was trying to finesse. So I was trying how to finesse. How long have you been doing this? <laughs> Dude's like, I forgot what he was, was talking weird. about. And then he, I was like, oh, like, what do you guys have here? And like, he was showing me all this stuff. And I was like, oh, shit, I was like, can I get a water? And then he was like, you're getting out of line, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> he like, what's it mean? And I was like, bro, but if not, like, it's cool. He's like, now you're cool. Like, let's go grab it. So, like, I'm like talking to them. Between me and you. Yeah. So then I go look and, like, they're gone. And I'm like, oh. Yeah, they didn't know this was fucking one. Yeah, I'm like, right. I'm like, oh, they're gone. So I'm like, oh, shit, I lost my people. And I was like, I'm still gonna get my water. <laughs> I was yeah. Like, so they give me the water. And I'm like, where did they go? So like, I start looking around and I'm like, they're not over here. And then uh, Mars calls me and I'm like, okay, I know where you guys are at. And then I'm like, mm, yeah. 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 yeah I, was just, I was just like, oh, fuck. I, was, I don't know. I had to go find them actually. Because me, it was me, Eric, and Mars uh, waiting, and then they, we waited like 15 minutes. And I was like, bro, where are they? Mm-hmm. And then Eric went to look for you guys, and he couldn't find them. I was like, bro, like, they're, they're, this is a small space. I was like, cannot be that hard to find them. Yeah. And so like, I'm walking through, and I find this guy fucking stumbling around. <laughs> I wasn't stumbling. Not stumbling around. I like was, you, you just looked like you were just over something. Like you were over something. You, yeah, he's like cruise control. Yeah. I don't know if I just got touched or someone looked at me inappropriately again. Yeah. yeah so I found him, him, and then I had to find everybody else. And it was, it was fun. But it, it was fun times. That, that, that's what we love about that. Um, real quick, let's. I want to transition over to something else. Let's see, brother. Um. You said videography, right? Is, it, is, it, is that something you're into or is it something you've done in the past or anything else? Yeah, like that? that's something that um, I think me personally, I've always loved videography. It's just like, and people, like when they think videography, they're like, oh, you're just gonna record a video and then boom, you like plug in your, your USB and you snap and the video gets edited. It's just like, no, it's like tedious. And yeah. some people would hate it, but I actually like the video editing. Like that's the fun part about it. Like you add your own little spice to it. Yeah. You get all technical with it, mm-hmm. and then you know you like get a hard on when you see your yeah. your your like your your work. You're like, oh, I made this, and you're yeah. like right there. And that's I would literally be in my room like editing, and I'd connect it to my TV, and I'd be like right there, like, oh man, it's cool. And then you sit there and watch your own video, and you're like, that's a great video. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you appreciate your hard yeah. work and stuff like that. So that's um, I think during COVID. Was I, we weren't working, and then like John's like, Why don't you? I would take my cameras to uh, to raves, so that's where I first started like recording stuff. I, I would vlog like the raves, and I'd be like, Make it a whole like little experience. I remember for a whole year, like, I remember like, my friends were like, We woke up, like, Hey, I wish someone would just I wish someone recorded us, and then we say that all the time, and then, I, and then I was just like, Some bitch, yeah. literally, when he said that, the next morning i think i'm gonna best buy and bought a camera and then i was like i was like now i'm gonna record it i was like dude this is awesome so i just from there started recording making vlogs of the rays and it was fun someone wanted fun because like hey can you delete that was too trash all right buddy um but then after that he's like hey why don't you record some of my like you know workout videos you can make you know move them around do some shit like that and then from then on that's what i was like oh i really dig this yeah. It's important. Obviously, like right now, I haven't really uh, done it because I've been busy at work and stuff like that. But I think that's like a little excuse too. Like you tell us, like, oh, I'll, I'll get to it when I get to it. Like, oh, next year, next yeah. year. And you're like, then you have a mortgage and three kids, and you're like, man, yeah, pull that trigger. Yeah, and you're like, I could have been someone, you know? Yeah, I could have been something. Yeah, been something. Uh, but yeah, like I, I do have a big passion in it, something that I kind of, you know, uh, indulge in a little bit more and kind of. You know, diving deep into it. So that's, that's something good, where yeah. I want to do. Um, obviously, I do have the camera, the setups, and all that. It's just kind of in the focus. But yeah, that's something that I really like. I feel like you can, you can do a lot of like storytelling 
Mm. It's a lot of film. Like, yeah. People don't realize it's film. Like, it's a, that's the cool part about it. It's like, it's a smaller, like, videography, it's like a smaller step of, like, filmmaking. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And I mean, I personally, like, people are, are yes or no, but I like sitting on my ass and go to the movies. I don't know about you guys, but I personally love going to the movies. I, I like just getting a fucking popcorn and some my drink and just sitting on my ass and like watching a movie. Yeah. And I'm just like, I just like the storytelling. You're like, oh, like, oh, this is a good movie. Like, all right, cool. You killed fucking three hours of my life. Then yeah. I'm never gonna get back. But it's just like, it's nice. I like that. That's all. Like, I really like the when it comes to like video recording. Okay. All this that's sick. That's sick. I, yeah. That's when you said the storytelling side of it, like of like you said because that's what a lot of what it is is like for a content creator now it's like what story are you telling yeah i mean you can just like one little video that you see can just inspire you for the whole day yeah you know you see a video like let's be honest we get we get blasted with like social media constantly you know yeah content content constantly, constantly, constantly. you're seeing like you probably see like a million videos a day you know shit like that but you know you'll remember that one video like let's say you see something that kind of like motivated to go to the gym or just you know, even to be a better person, feel just feel better about your life. Or yeah. feel better about your life. You know, mm -hmm. you have the shittiest day, and you see that one video, like, you know what? It ain't that bad. Yeah. You know, it gets you through it. Like that's that's why I like uh, video. Like. That's crazy you say that too, because um, talking going back into DM side of things. Um, so Martin Garrix did a Tomorrowland set, yeah, and the intro, um, like musically. Fucking beautiful, yeah. Like beautiful, like just it sounds amazing. I I, I love that uh, that mix of it, but it's the visual side of it of like the Tomorrowland stage, mm -hmm. like the angles they're shooting, like this the whole vibe of it. Like the obviously the production they do there live, right? But like the video side of it, and it's just like I would use that as like a refresher for like my soul in a sense of mm -hmm. like one like I just I feel like there's lots of going on like I just need to decompress. Yeah. Like the sound, the video, like the imagery, really, really like brings me back to the same place. And I have to appreciate it for that. Yeah, like it's like an art and it's just like one video can like reach millions of people. Mm -hmm. And it's just like like that's the beauty of it too. And you know, the beauty of the world we live in now. You you make a video and it could reach thousands to millions of people. Yep. You know? Yep. People that are sitting on their couch right now seeing this video, they'd be like, oh, you know what? Like, they, they probably never got to a rave and they see this yeah. video, this, you know, this podcast, and they'll be like, you know what? I'm gonna go to a rave now. I'm gonna try it out. <laughs> These two goofy guys, maybe you wanna go to a rave. Yeah. <laughs> These guys. As long as, as, long as you inspire one person, that's yeah. all That's all that matters. Oh, okay. yeah. yeah. At the end of the day. I love that. I, I love that, and, and of course, with videos, I love that you did that for for your friend group because just like us, you know, I've I've seen this, the lawyer I've raved is a matter of when I first started raving and or going to festivals, I wanted to record every set. Yeah. I wanted like that I literally made it a point to record every set, every single like cool drop. I didn't want I didn't want to miss a drop. I was like, bro, I, I gotta get this and then bro he, now I give my phone and wallet to him. Mm -hmm. Of course, two reasons: one, because I lose this shit, and then two, or get stolen, either. or and then. But, but number two, it's like I just love being in the present. Yeah. There's, there's there's nothing like being in the present. You don't have to worry about putting up your phone for a drop. You just live. You just dance. Mm -hmm. Like you're just there. Um, but of course, now that I do that, having somebody that, like I said, you know, does enjoy it, does take the videos yeah. or whatever, because those videos you make. That's memories that, like I said, half the time you don't even remember the night. Mm -hmm. So if someone's taking a video and there was a sick drop that you don't remember, or if there was uh, specific people you met that you don't remember, it's like, whoa, it's like, that's great or whatever. Like, that's the blessing of it. So it's like, videography is for the future to inspire the people yeah. now, but it's always to retain memories of the past that really you most likely just miss out. Yeah, yeah. like it's, a, I mean, I'm, I, it, you know, those videos are up there, you know, and I could be like, oh, you know, you have, you have like your kids would be like, yeah. this is what I used to do. Yeah. I was that, I was that, that dude throwing up right there. <laughs> That's your old man. Yeah. <laughs> 2020, <laughs> fucking 2022 Coachella, baby. This yeah. is what we was doing now. It's 2040, flying cars. Yeah. They got, they got liquid fucking, liquidy and shit like that. Who's the hell on from Coachella? They're sniffing <laughs> battery acid now. <laughs> Yeah. Damn, that's not good. <laughs> no, 
with that. It's just the name battery acid. It's something different. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh Dad, you're so old school. We don't do marijuana anymore. We do battery acid. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> It's the actual battery acid. That's what it's called. Yeah, okay. right. Sorry. Yeah, we're, we're taking ancestral goods right now. Yeah. 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 It's like, like what? ancestral. Huh. I've been there before. <laughs> Woke up two years after. <laughs> yeah. I think I took a pill and a bee. So. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh. Fuck, I forgot where we're going. It's what happens. Yeah. I really, no, I think going back to the videos too. Yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, I'm basically our video person. I kind of love fan videos because, like I said, for me, like I did this last week, um, Escape last year, mm. we saw Subtronics, and uh, there a video. Like I was going through videos on my phone, I was like, wait, what was this? And I looked, and I was like, oh shit, this was a fucking hard drop. Mm -hmm. And I texted them, and I was like, bro, what was this? I wasn't sure. I was like, was this Subtronics? Yeah. And they're like, yeah. And I was like, damn, that's dope. Because just like you kind of, you forget. You forget yeah, yeah. And, and, see. and you know, sometimes it's fun and sometimes it isn't fun. Like, I'll, I'll be vlogging and then I'm like, I'll, it felt like a chore now. And I felt like, yeah, that's why at some point I kind of did stop a little because I was like, like you were saying, like, he got to the point where at first I was recording my phone and then I'm like, dude, I want to make more videos out of this. But camera, then it's it's like fun. It's a good experience. Everyone's having a blast. Chicks see a camera, they run to it. Like, they, they, really do. they think you're an influencer, you got like one subscriber. <laughs> <laughs> but if you play the part, they'll, they'll, they'll eat that dub like puppy food. Like, I remember going to the event, like, oh my god, can we do your vlog? Like, yeah, yeah come on, like, like, that's crazy. Well, and then, you know, so I was like, you don't say. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was really worth like, oh, like, if you'd be, dude, that, doing that actually, it, it's a funny story. Because of the whole vlog thing, I met Pasco, like, personally, and I, like, went backstage to their fucking. I remember that you I went backstage. Yeah. It, was, it was hard summer, actually. And I was recording, and so I was like, my crew was like, it was like main stage. You know where there's like those rails, and it's like that center divider? Mm -hmm. And it's usually like security walking down that thing, or they have like artists, I don't know what it is. I was like, but you have to go all the way back, you know, like, to like get yeah. to the other side, you can't just go straight. So I was like, fuck. I was like, hey, dude, um, my crew's over there. Do you mind if I like, oh, he's like, oh, I'm not security, bro. I'm just a normal guy like you. I was like, so do you mind? Can you hold my camera? Like, yeah, bro. he helped me jump over and I was in the center. I was like, dude, it was, uh, I think it was R.L. Grime. I don't know who it was, but I was like, I'm never going to get an opportunity like this. And I was like recording and I just was going like down the thing. And I was like, dude, this is the best shot ever. Yeah. And, then I, and then I felt someone tap me like, oh, and I got fucking caught now. Yeah. I was like, keep going, buddy, keep it moving. And, like, and it was secure. Like, he was like, all right, guys, come on, come on. He thought like I was like an influencer yeah. or something. And he's like, or like part of the crew. And that's why everyone has special wristbands. And then, so long story short, we went through like little special trail. We went to like the side of the stage. I was waiting. I was like, dude, I'm already, I'm already too deep, deep into this right now. <laughs> and like, what's going on? And then I heard like little girls saying, I was like, and then you see Pasco come. Up. What's up, guys? You guys ready to party? You guys ready for the real show? <laughs> Opens the gate, and we just go. I'm like, oh, Pasco, I just, I'm sorry, homie. <laughs> I'm sorry. Thank you, man. Like, this is great. And I was just like, oh my god, I had like a long seal look up there. I yeah. you know, don't have nothing, and I, I met the dude, and I was like, right there, I was chopping up with him, recording, acting like I was part of the fucking crew there. Yeah. And then uh, after that, he, it was the last set, and we walked back to the trailers. And I remember, like, we we go, and I was just like, cool, I'm still not supposed to be here. <laughs> and I was like, play ball, and I went next to my school. I was like, yeah, man, dude, I love the like the production and everything. They, and I was chopping up with that guy. He was just like, yeah, thank you, man. Like, I do my best to try to provide for you guys, but you guys make this all possible. Without you guys, it possible. I'm like, you probably say that sometimes. <laughs> and then, but yeah, we went to the trailers and all the like, you know, the little big promoters all, like that you see, DJs and stuff like that. And then I just see Pascal like from afar and just like, two chicks, all right, well I'm leaving. And then goes to one of the trailers like, my man. And then that's when all the golden champions started coming out. I was, I was like, I was, yeah, literally. <laughs> like then, like, I guess that was part of the thing. Everyone came out with gold champagne, like the crew. And then they're like, here you go. Like each one of us got our own fucking champagne. I was like, Fuck this! So I was like, I'm drinking this, and then yeah, that was cool. So that's, that's sick. Bro. Yeah, that was one core memory from uh, Array. That's sick. That's sick though. Yeah, and then everyone's like, dude, you missed out, blah blah blah. And then they saw my story. It's like, how in the world did you oh, fucking? Wow. Yeah, I was like, dude, I have no idea. Mm -hmm. And then that's what I saw like uh, Ray Gorda. It's like, 
Rave door. Oh remember my that? god, I do remember Rave door. Yeah. I remember Rave door. You know how I remember Rave door? Oh. Because of fucking Warren Garrix. Oh yeah. Ago. I remember that. I remember Rave door. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. You know? So the camera, like the camera, like that's like the perfect way to be like, hey ladies, like this, like it, it gets you, it gets you in places. You get a camera around. It does. But it got to a point where, like, I wanted to be a little bit more like. I want to enjoy my set now. It's like you know what I don't want to because everyone's like, hey, get, like record me, record me, which I get it. Like, like oh, like when, when uh, put me in the video, or stuff like yeah. that. It was cool, but then after a while, I was just like, I don't think I'm having fun now. Like I, I feel like I'm living it through the, the, the camera lens. Guy. You're the camera guy. Yeah, I'm the camera guy. I'm living it through the lens, and then I was just like, I kind of want to enjoy myself. And yeah, I'm like, I, I kind of want to get trash and not worry that I'm gonna lose my camera. Yeah. So then I was just like, oh, like I want to enjoy, have a good drink, and then. It's like a six hundred dollar camera, so I was like, yeah. "Oh my dude, if you lose that, you lose that. I'm not gonna find it. I'm gonna get that snatched." Yep. So, but yeah, that's where I was just like, ah, "I'm gonna take a little step back," and I think that's when I went to more building yeah. workouts. I, that's good. No, I miss your your vlog. Your vlogs are fun, bro. I They're know. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do a uh, TS one. <laughs> you know what? I actually might be down for that. Let's do a TS one. A little mini vlog. Yeah. Not mm-hmm. anything crazy. Just a little mini like. And that's a lot. Yeah, yeah, just a little high about yeah. a little like quick. Little, it could be like, and I thought about it too of getting back into it and just doing a quick little like the way you know. I think if you post on YouTube, if you're baby, like it'll, it'll pop off little by little. But I feel like most people are just on Instagram now, you know? Yeah. Uh, it's yes and no because like YouTube now is like becoming you. So YouTube and Twitter X, whatever you want to call it now. They're like the the so big uh, adver- they're the big advertising you want this. Yeah. Like on this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but like, they're the big advertising things and the, the reason why is because they have the most viewers. So right. people are going on YouTube and like Twitter to watch stuff and consume stuff. I, I think like the way I'm kinda of seeing it too, like, is someone gonna really sit on their ass and see my block for like ten minutes? They might minutes? bro, that's the thing though. Yeah. They like, they really might that's what I said, like YouTube has the highest attention time mm-hmm. for views. Or Instagram has one of the shorter ones. So yeah. on Instagram, unless you have something that catches your eye within the first four or five seconds, scroll, scroll. Yeah, that's scroll. That, yeah, that's what I was thinking of even doing like maybe even one minute vlogs. Yeah, yeah. Or like a quick little like you can keep it compressed, but then you know you get because once you wow people, those first five to six seconds, whether it's with somebody that looks good, yeah, whether it's music that looks good, mm-hmm. and or the stage or something else like that, then of course you get yeah. the same people. Definitely, like have a hook, and then they're like, oh, you know. What's this? Yeah, what's this? I'll see the rest of the video. I went with you, I'm gonna play a Pascal story for the clip. Be like, we went with Pascal. Yeah, literally, it was, yeah, it, was right. dope. it was a dope experience. I was like, I'm not supposed to be here yeah, yeah. at all. I like that, there's man. A clip. <laughs> yeah, there's a clip. Oh, there is. I, I, there's a video. We walking right next to them. That's tight. I was like, right yeah. recording. I was just like, is that your YouTube channel? Uh, I'll send it to you. I had sent it yeah, to you. Yeah, I'll send it to you. Because I might be part of the thumbnail. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was just like, yeah, it, it was cool. And I was like, they're like, you really met the guy? Like, yeah, bro, here's the video. I was like, son of a bitch, have to do it. Son like, of a bitch. Yeah, I was like, I got no idea, but I did it and I didn't get caught. And, it's, I was like, and I told people, like, so how do you get out of here? I was like, <laughs> the same way we came in. I was like, <laughs> I was just like, because I didn't go in with them, I was like, right, all right. <laughs> I'll figure it out. And I, like, <laughs> and I remember going to one of the guys like, hey, I'm just trying to get to, I'm just going to step out for a little bit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, this ain't Facebook. I'll let you up this way. Yeah, I was like, like, cool. And I was like, I got to get to, I got to get to <laughs> my friends. I was like, fuck. But yeah, I went to my friends. Yeah, I was like, cool, cool. We finally got back. I, was, I, 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 I love, love that for you, bro. I feel like, I feel like this, this episode right here, brother, this has been fun. That's been one of my favorite stories, honestly. Like as far as stories go, fuck it. That's one of my favorite stories because I just, <laughs> I love, I just love how it's played out, played out for you. Yeah, dude. And honestly, like when when I say it, and then people hear, like, damn, that's really cool. But in my head, during that, during those shit shows, or those experiences that you go through life, or me personally, I'm just like, dude, that was stressful as fuck. Yeah. I was like, it sounds cool when you're saying it, and then you're like, you're like. Dude, I'll, heart's racing, I'm not supposed to be there. Pascal's right here in front of me chatting up, like, yeah. you know, <laughs> all I know, he's like, you know what, you're eternally banned from all the rays. Yeah. I was like, damn, one slip up and now I'm banned forever. <laughs> you know, I was just like, you're like, who, who do you think you are, man? <laughs> like, you could have murdered me, this guy's trying to kill me. Like, I'm like, oh, fuck, I'm not supposed to be here, but, yeah, stuff like that, that's why, 
big fan of storytelling, I guess. I am. I am. But yeah, we're at 145, bro. Yeah. So, an oh. hour and 45 yes. minutes. So, we always like to give the floor to the guests. So, is there any closing statements? Any words of wisdom? Or any remarks? Any, any, any motivational thing that you want to say? Floor is yours. Uh, uh, nothing too crazy. I mean, obviously, follow where the talent's at. The talent, yeah. Follow where the talent's at. I like that. Uh, and yeah, just stay motivated. I think every day, uh, as life might get a little tough, always stay positive and surround yourself with positive people. Uh, and go work out, for sure. I love that. Go fucking yeah. work out every day. Even if it's just like five minutes. Go do some jumping jacks. Yeah, do some cardio. Like, yeah. Go just, like 10 minutes on. Yeah, you're, you're, you're only doing yourself a benefit. Yeah. And drink some water. Drink yeah. some water. We'll, we'll par- we party hard, but I think we like to hydrate Monday to Thursday. Yep. Oh yeah, no, we party harder. We have some cheat codes. Uh huh. Not the not the cheat codes you're thinking about, but like we got some cheat codes now. Yep. So uh, I think I told you about Matt's uh, little drink, right? Oh yeah, I gotta try his his little elixir of life. Elixir of life. Yeah, that's what we call it. Mm-hmm. His great awakening drink. It, yep. it is a great awakening. Honestly, that's a great awakening. Yeah. Drink. yeah. <laughs> Opens up all your pores and everything. Yep. No, bro. Like I just tell you, like you just. The, this is like the one factor, like we could say here and but like every single festival we've been to since taking it, yeah. I don't think one of us has been like had a bad come down or a bad like just like wood for like shit. Yeah. Like it's just like your body just feels good throughout the whole entire day. You can wake up. Yep. I live on that. Yeah. Like our whole team, like our whole our whole team that like, goes takes the it. whole rig family drinks. Yeah. It. Really? Yeah. And it's amazing, bro. I don't trust them. You wouldn't want to take no liquid IV, and no, none no, no, yeah. no, of that stuff again. It's cool. You just take it before, and then you take it when you go to bed. You wake up and you're solid. Really? Yeah, yeah. I got them up. I got them up. some of that. Yes, you do. Get a whole gallon of it. No, uh, we will have to. We do because we have so many people. But yeah. You know, just, yeah, like buy it, and then you'll be cool, bro. You'll be cool. I like that. I like that. I'm mm-hmm. not for that. Just show me well, Thank you again for coming, bro. Like I said, it's been a long time coming on this one. I know. I mean, this was fun. I mean. I kind of want to do it again. I feel like we scratched the surface on a lot of stuff, but there's so much more we can go into. Yeah, we'll definitely get a little bit more organized and go into like yeah. detail everything and some of the other crazy stories that we've had before. Yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe we should do like a post TS one. I thought like that'd be cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like, like a little recap. Stuff. Yeah, I think we should do that. I'm actually 100 percent down with that. Yeah. That'd be actually kind of cool. Yeah, like, hey, so sure. show, we'd be like right here, like I lost it all. <laughs> <laughs> Started crying. Yeah, it just started crying like it, like it, it was so good. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, so All right, man, we're gonna wrap it up. <laughs> All right, well, hey, it was fun, guys. Thank you for having me here, and then hopefully we can do this again. All right, so next time I'm John. It's your boy Shiloh, and as always, be safe. God bless.